Hey friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Amy Darley and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kids and I share videos here each week on my channel to bring you motivation for cleaning, decluttering, organizing, recipes, and even grocery hauls. Today's video is going to be a cleaning marathon and I do these several times a year where I bring you over three hours of cleaning motivation in one video and in today's video I'm going to be cleaning all over my house. I have tons of decluttering and organizing. I'm also doing some deep cleaning, sharing some grocery hauls, and even some recipes. The grocery hauls will be from Sam's Club and Walmart. If you're new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and be sure to introduce yourself down in the comments as well. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you need some cleaning motivation today and let's get some cleaning done together. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a clean, declutter, and organize with me. We got a new washer and dryer so I decided to go ahead and do some deep cleaning of our laundry room and do some decluttering and organizing in there as well. I hope this video motivates you to tackle some things around your house today and gives you a little inspiration. Now go ahead and get your to-do list ready and give this video a thumbs up and let's start some cleaning. Okay guys, I hope you're ready for some cleaning motivation. Today's video has lots and lots of cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and even a grocery haul. So get your to-do list ready and let's tackle some tasks together. Hey y'all, I hope you're ready for some serious cleaning motivation today. In this video, we are continuing along with our decluttering and organizing series where I'm getting the entire house decluttered and organized and today's focus is gonna be on my daughter's closet and dresser drawers. I also have lots of cleaning in today's video as well, so go ahead and get your to-do list ready and let's get some stuff done together. Hey y'all, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing lots of cleaning per usual, but I've also got some decluttering. I'm still decluttering my entire house, so today we're working on my son's closet. And I'm also gonna be making some fun DIY teacher gifts for Teacher's Appreciation Week. So come on, hang out with me today. Make your to-do list either while you're watching or before you watch, and let's get some things done together. All right, so today's cleaning was actually over a couple of days. This was the first day and I was expecting our new washer and dryer to come in today. So before I get started on cleaning in the laundry room, I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up my bedroom. We have some clothes here and a suitcase that still needs to be unpacked from being out of town. And then once the guys get here with the new washer and dryer, as soon as they pull out our old one, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna start cleaning. Now. Our washer just all of a sudden went kaplunk and just decided not to work anymore. So that is why we got new washer and dryers. But I'll share all the details on our new washer and dryer as soon as I get in there and show them to you. 
Also, if you are already a subscriber to my channel, I know I told you guys that this video was supposed to go up on December 27th. I told you guys that in my last video, so I'm really sorry that this video is just now going up. I ended up getting the flu and did not account for that. <laughs> so I got the flu and luckily I was only down for about four days and then it was Christmas and you know all the craziness of that. So I'm sorry this video is a little bit later than expected but I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and hopefully you have an amazing new year as well. Okay, so here's one last look at the laundry room before they took the washer and dryer out. And then once they took it out, I was like speed cleaning before they came to bring the new ones in. But look at this mess that was on the floor. It was disgusting. And that's always what happens when you pull a washer and dryer out. And my laundry room isn't that big, so it's really, really hard to pull them out and clean behind them, even when I'm doing like spring cleaning and stuff but this definitely makes me want to pull them out more often and clean. So really quickly, I wiped down the floors and I got a few shots of it as much as I could, but obviously you guys know it takes a little bit longer to clean while filming, so I got what I could and then cleaned as fast as I could before the new washer and dryer were brought in. So gross, but luckily I got it all cleaned and it looks so much better. Now they can put the new washer and dryer in and I actually ended up going with the exact same brand and model and everything that we had before. It's just the upgraded versions. But the washer drum is way bigger than our old one, which is so nice. There's so many different like settings and things on this though. And look at the inside, isn't it so pretty? Hopefully we can keep it looking like this. <laughs> um, but everything works the same. It's just there are a few different settings for my old washer and dryer and they are smart washer and dryers. So you can use the app from your phone and come up with your own like cycles and things like that on settings that are customized. I have not done that yet and I'm not sure if I will. And then here I'm realizing that we have to switch the door around because it's on the other side. So we Chance did come in here and switch the door so that I can open it the opposite way so it makes it easier whenever I'm putting clothes from the washing machine into the dryer. But this is just a little overview of the washer and dryer and I'll make sure to link them down in the description box in case you're looking for a new one yourself. I actually got a really good deal on these and um, they were on sale. So hopefully they'll, st they'll still be on sale if you guys are looking for something too. But really quick, I'm going to go ahead and wipe them down. I will say with like the black, I do have to wipe them down more often just because the dust shows a lot easier. But it also makes me think like, oh, well, before when they were all white, I bet they were still dusty and you just couldn't notice it. So I do like that because now I take the time to clean them a little bit more often. So like I said, our laundry room is not that big and we did not have anywhere to hang dry any clothes. So I ended up getting these rods off of Amazon 
and they're just tension rods and they came in a pack of two they're gold they're so pretty and so i decided to put these up in our laundry room right here between the wall and our cabinets so that way we could at least hang because we don't have a whole lot of stuff that we hang dry but a lot of times we have you know some delicates or um, like my daughter's cheer uniform needs to air dry so I figured this would be perfect little space for just a few items that need to be hung to dry at a time. All right, so now the next thing we're gonna do is declutter and organize all of the cabinets here in the laundry room. So this is my cleaning cabinet, which I will say a lot of this stuff in here I don't even really use or I have extras of over in my closet that's underneath the stairs. And so I'm gonna go through this really quick, get rid of a bunch of stuff and only keep what I want to actually stay in the laundry room because I'm gonna be doing a lot of decluttering and organizing. I get the itch to declutter and organize at the beginning of every single year, which it actually hit me a little bit earlier this year. It was like during Christmas season, I was like, oh, I want to go through and declutter and organize everything in my house. But I really like to wait till the beginning of the year just because then, you know, Christmas is over, all the decorations are down and all of that. But because we had the new washer and dryer in here and I was doing some deep cleaning, I figured I would just go ahead and tackle the entire laundry room. So here you can see I'm just decluttering these cabinets. I'm gonna wipe them all down and then I'm gonna reorganize everything in here. But because I have the itch to declutter and organize, I'm also gonna be doing a lot of other spaces around my house and one of those spaces is our closet beneath the stairs because that's where I have ma majority of all of our cleaning products. But I have way more than we need and so I do wanna go through that stuff, donate some things to my friends, um, you guys know I, I do a lot of cleaning on my channel so a lot of times I even get sent things just to try out and so I have an overwhelming amount of cleaning products that I don't need so I can't wait to get into that closet and clean it out declutter it and reorganize it so that it's not overwhelming every time I walk in there but like I said I have so many other spaces around the house that I'm going to also be decluttering and organizing and I will definitely film it all so that you guys can get some motivation from it. All right, so I have this little two-tiered organizer that I got for under one of the bathroom cabinets but never used it. It actually came in a pack of two, so I do have another one. So I might end up using that one in our guest bathroom. But here I'm storing all of our um, carpet cleaner products and our Tenco cleaning products and then a few other extras that I like to use here in the laundry room.
And then I decided to put this Lazy Susan in here and put some of my most grabbed for items that I use in the laundry room right here on this Lazy Susan. Okay, so here is what this cabinet turned out like. I love it. So much more organized and definitely don't have a bunch of products in here that I don't use. Now moving on to this cabinet, we have some spray paint, which I forgot I had in here and I had been looking all over for this spray paint. I thought I had it in the garage and of course I went and bought new spray paint and then came in here to clean and found the spray paint. So. Definitely don't need the spray paint in here. It's going back out in the garage. And then I also have some lunch boxes. We keep our extra trash bags in here. No, these don't go to our um, actual trash can. These are just ones that we will pull out like if I'm decluttering or cleaning somewhere and we need a trash bag. These are the ones that we use. And then a few other things like dish soap, stuff like that. So I'm gonna just vacuum and wipe down these cabinets and reorganize them. And here is the next cabinet we're gonna organize. It is just a huge mess. We have so much stuff in here. It's just overflowing and a lot of random things that um, were just thrown in here and just need to go. So we're gonna go through all of this stuff, go through all these baskets and see if we can get rid of a bunch of this stuff. So this first basket is labeled sports. So we have a lot of stuff in here that the kids use for sports, obviously. A few of these things they didn't need anymore and then a few other random things were thrown in here that weren't supposed to be in here. So I'm cleaning this out. A ton of baseball belts that can go back up in Kaysen's room. And then we're just gonna keep the things that we need in here. So we've got some cooling rags. We've got some um, little ankle weights and tape for the ankle, like athletic tape, things like that. And then the next basket that we're going to organize is our mass basket. So this is back when, you know, we were quarantined and we had a bazillion different masks. So I'm actually going to get rid of most of these. I might keep a couple, but we're going to get rid of the majority of them. And then we had some extra tape for athletics. So I put some of that stuff back in there and then also bug spray and sunscreen. So I might need to relabel that basket sports as well. Um, I, did, I didn't do that yet because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do on there, but maybe I should just go ahead and relabel it sports. The next basket is our outdoors basket is what it's labeled. And we keep all of our gloves in here. We only need these during the winter. And honestly, we haven't even had to use them yet. So. I'm just putting all these back in here. I also have some of those headbands that go over the ears. I like to use those whenever I walk and run um, when it's cold outside. So I'm putting those things in here. And then I am gonna take that bug spray and sunscreen and put it in that other basket that I just cleaned out.
Okay, so this is going to kind of be our miscellaneous basket. I have some items that are extras for the car, so like extra car wipes and also car cleaning putty. And then I also put some extra hand sanitizers and hand soaps that we like to take with us whenever we go on vacation somewhere. So that's just kind of a miscellaneous basket. I don't know what to name that one. What should I call it? Miscellaneous? I don't know. Um, I didn't put a label on that one yet either, but I did turn it around. And now I'm going through all of our bags. So these are a lot of our shopping bags. And I'm just going to kind of organize these so that we can put them back at the top of the cabinet. So here's a look at these two cabinets now that they're both organized I feel like it's so much better I know where everything is and I even have some space for anything extra that comes in here that if I need to like pull from a separate room and it makes more sense to be in the laundry room then I can put that stuff in here and moving on to the cabinet above the dryer. This is a bunch of random stuff as well. We've got light bulbs. We've got extra laundry detergent, our mopping pad wipes, extra Dawn power wash. This is where we keep our coin jar where we, you know, if you have coins in your pockets, we try to take them out and just throw them in here. We have our extra trash bags that are for the trash can in our kitchen, which is our simple human trash can. I love that thing, by the way. I love how you can actually store your trash bags inside of your trash can, and then these are just extras for refills. We also have our dryer sheets and our little tool that I, was, I used to get the lint out of the dryer to clean it out really good. So we're going to be reorganizing this and moving some things around and I'm also going to organize a few things into bins. So I ended up taking those trash bags out and putting them with the other trash bags in the other cabinet. And this is what it looks like now that everything is organized in here. The last cabinet that needs to be organized in here is right above the washing machine. And this is where we keep all of our laundry detergent and stuff like that. So we've got extra gain laundry detergent. We've got all of our spot cleaners and fabric softener. And then we also keep our iron and starch and stuff like that up here. Now all this stuff up here at the very top, I need to go through all of this and I decided to leave it up here for right now, but we keep all of our manuals and everything up here. I guarantee you there's a ton that I could throw away and get rid of because we probably no longer have some of that stuff, but I need to go through that and actually organize it. And I think I want to put it into a binder or something just to keep it even more organized. And so I'm just going to keep those up there for right now. And I will pull those out another day and try to organize those and I'll film it as well. All right. So now all of our cabinets are clean, decluttered and organized, and it feels so much better. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish cleaning in here. So I'm going to dust and I'm going to wipe down the cabinets, get the floors all clean and even clean out the sink and the countertops.
Now I wanted to mention that at the end of this video, I am sharing that recipe that I talked about in last week's video. It's the crock pot buffalo wild wings garlic parmesan chicken pasta. Ooh, that's a long recipe to say, but I filmed it and I wanted to share it with you guys. I know I've shared it in the past, but it is so good. We make it all the time and we even end up having so much leftovers that we usually end up freezing some of it and having it for another meal in a few weeks. So um, I'm gonna share that at the end of this video, so be sure to stick around for that recipe. I also wanted to let y'all know that I am currently filming a few videos for the next few weeks, which are perfect for the new year. The first video is going to be my new weekly cleaning routine video. I have completely revamped my weekly cleaning routine. I broke it down into four days of cleaning, and I also created some new weekly cleaning routine checklist, which if you can't do it in the four days, I have the weekly checklist for the four days, but if you can't do it in four days, and let's just say you only have one or two days a week that you can clean, I made a separate checklist, which would just be for anybody who maybe doesn't wanna follow the four days that I'm doing, and they just need a checklist for their week. So I've got a few checklists for you guys to be able to use. I'm gonna share that in my next video, and you'll even be able to print those checklists and everything for free. And we also created a new deep cleaning checklist too, which is like, a zone cleaning checklist. So if you're looking for a deep cleaning checklist where you can rotate through zones, I'm gonna have that available for you guys to download as well. And then my next video will actually be taking down all of the Christmas decor. I kinda wanted to do the weekly routine first just to give you guys a jump start on the new year. And it took me several days to get my Christmas decor down. So <laughs> I figured I would film that share that with you guys. There'll be all, you know, organization, how I organize my decor and everything. I'll show you guys all of that. So that'll be the second video for January. But I have other things that I am so excited to share with you guys throughout the month of January. I get lots of questions about my workout routine, so I definitely wanna share that with y'all. My planner that I use, my, how I organize my life basically. So all the things that you would think about, you know, organizing and getting yourself on a plan or a routine for the beginning of the year. So I'm gonna be sharing a lot of that stuff throughout January. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and also go follow me on Instagram or on Facebook because I will be sharing some Instagram reels and things like that, shorter videos that will also be geared towards all that New Year's content. So hopefully I'll get to hang out with you in tons of other places and not just YouTube. All right, the laundry room is so nice and clean. It feels so good to have this done and it smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell it through the screen. I am actually hanging up one of Gracie June's little cheer jackets so you can kind of see what it'll look like if we're hanging and air drying some items. And I am ready to wash our first load of laundry in our new washing machine. All right, so our first load of laundry was actually a load of towels, so I'm doing some powdered laundry detergent, some scent beads, and then I always use white distilled vinegar as a fabric softener, which you can also use to sanitize and deodorize. So this works as all of those things. So it's perfect, especially for towels.
right, so now I'm going to show you this easy recipe really quick. Everybody in my family loves it. It went viral on TikTok. It is so stinking good, and we always have lots for leftovers. So basically, the first thing you do is throw in your chicken breast. I have three pretty big pieces of chicken, and then you use this Parmesan garlic sauce. It's the Buffalo Wild Wings brand. Dump all of that in there. Once that's in there, you're going to fill up that bottle with heavy whipping cream and shake it while it's in the bottle and then dump it right there on top of the chicken. You're just going to let that cook on high for four hours or you can do low for six to eight hours. Once your chicken is done, you're just going to shred it up and it just kind of falls apart in the crock pot. And then I'm adding in a block of cream cheese. You can actually do this like earlier in the day when you're first putting your chicken in here. I just completely forgot about it. So I'm putting it in now and then I'm just going to let it keep cooking until that cream cheese is melted. While that cream cheese is melting in there, I went ahead and started my penne pasta. I just cooked that on the stove like normal and then threw that into the crock pot with my chicken mixture, mixed it all up, and then threw a little bit of Parmesan cheese in there, and it is all done and good to go. This is seriously one of the easiest meals we make, and we love it so much. You can serve it with a salad or breadsticks or whatever else you wanna serve it with. All right, y'all, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and got tons of motivation. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Y'all have an amazing week, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye. Hey friends, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are tackling my master closet. Yes, this is what my master closet looked like before. It was a complete disaster, and I do this at least once a year. I'm gonna go in here and literally pull everything out. I'm gonna go through, declutter, reorganize, clean down this entire closet, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So if you're ready for some serious cleaning motivation, Give this video a thumbs up and let's get some cleaning, decluttering, and organizing done together. Okay, first things first, before I can even think about getting into my closet, I need to go ahead and make up my bed and make sure I have just nothing out here other than what I'm about to pull out of my closet because I'm gonna be throwing a ton of stuff on my bed and I just wanna make sure that nothing like gets thrown under the covers or anything like that. Now, if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Amy Darley and I live right outside of Savannah, Georgia. I have two kids, I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I have my amazing husband, Chance, who is in medical sales. Now, I'm doing a whole decluttering series. I like to do this every single year. I just get this itch to declutter and organize every single space in my house. So I'm, of course, taking you guys along with me. I've done a few videos already. You can check the playlist below. It's just a decluttering series for 2024. And today, we're tackling the master closet. Now, like I said earlier, I do a massive declutter and organize of my master closet at least once a year, and I try to film it every single time I do, so I have definitely done this several times over the years that I've been on YouTube. So if you want to see any of my previous videos where I've decluttered and organized this closet, then you can just search Amy Darley Closet Cleanout or Closet Declutter, and those videos should pop up on YouTube. Okay, so here is a before look of my closet. It has definitely gotten out of hand. It's a complete disaster, you guys. I also ran out of hangers, so I have tons of sweaters and other things just piled up right here on this shelf because I have nowhere to put them. They won't fit in any of the drawers either, and I am gonna be going through my dresser drawers, but that's gonna be in next week's video, so I'm tackling a little bit out of a t at a time. This closet actually was a huge project and took me so long to get it done. 
So I'm going to get this done today. And then in next week, make sure you come back so that you can see how I clean out and declutter and organize my dresser drawers. And I'm also going to be doing some rearranging. So I'm excited to share that with you. But let's get this closet done. I'm going to go ahead and pull every single thing out of this closet. Um, first, I'm starting with all the things on the floor. And then I'm going to do a little bit of decluttering while all of my things are still hanging. But I am going to pull everything out because this closet definitely needs a deep clean. I try to do this once a year because even though there's all this stuff in here and it's a small little room and we're not obviously hanging out in here, dust accumulates and it gets pretty bad on the floors and even on the shelves and things. So I just like to pull everything out and give it a deep clean before I put everything back in and reorganize. Right, so here's a quick look at the floor after I got everything out and it was so gross so I decided to go ahead and do a really quick vacuum just because I knew I was going to be throwing some things on the floor as I was decluttering and I just didn't want them to be covered in dust because I am going to be donating everything that I get rid of today. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door All right, so like I said, I'm going to start decluttering while everything's still hanging. And then once I have all of the items that I'm going to donate out of here, then I can start taking this stuff out. But it's just easier for me to get rid of stuff while it's hanging up versus throwing it on my bed and going through each piece that way. Also, I originally planned to take down all of my sweaters and put them in a drawer in one of these um, drawers that I have here in my closet. They're the Ikea drawers and they're amazing, but when I was trying to put the sweaters in there, it actually snagged one of my sweaters, so I decided that was a bad idea. Plus, the sweaters took up a lot of space and I wasn't able to put a ton in those drawers, so I decided I am going to leave them hanging, um, but I'll show you all the organization later in the video. Shut the lights, go in front of Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing with my dresses and jumpsuits that I have here. I'm just going to touch every single one of them, decide whether I'm going to keep it or whether I'm going to donate it. I get the wine and the corkscrew. You don't have to do one single thing. You don't know how much I want you. Just looking at you makes my whole world spin. So this right here is the Ikea drawer that I was talking about earlier. I got this from Ikea, obviously, um, but I got two of them for our closet and I actually got these for my kids' closets too. I love them so much. Now, the ones in my closet, I didn't end up getting the tops for them. You have to buy the tops separately. But the ones for the kids' closets, I did end up buying the tops for those, and we do store stuff on top of them, but they have a big space of overhead, so there's more room. But I seriously love these drawers so much. They are so deep and fit a ton of stuff. So I am going to be using both the ones in here. I'm actually, one of ours has towels and bedding and stuff like that in it. But I'm going to actually take all of that out. And I'm going to be decluttering and organizing the closet in our office and making that into our linen closet because we do not have a linen closet in our house. So that'll be in another video coming up as well. 
But this drawer right here is my t-shirt drawer. And if you have been around for any amount of time, then you've probably seen I live in t-shirts and leggings. So I have a ton of t-shirts. I have some for like game days, some for school events, um, seasonal t-shirts, everyday t-shirts. I just love them all. So I'm going to go through and declutter and organize these and then put them back in here in this drawer. And as you can see, it fits a ton of t-shirts in this drawer. Your favorite music gone all the way, baritone. Mm -hmm. Shut the lights, go in for a ray. We can spend all day in bed. Now this next drawer is all of my sweatshirts and so I'm decluttering these right now but I decided that I was going to actually hang these back up. I'm not going to keep them in a drawer because just like with the sweaters they take up a lot of room and I feel like I could use these drawers for something else and make some space in my dresser drawers so that that way they're not so cramped. Put your favorite music on all the way baritone. Okay, and then here in this bottom drawer, I have all of my leggings. I have workout leggings, but then I also have like my le faux leather leggings in this drawer. So any kind of leggings are in here. And then I also have pullovers for working out like cold weather pullovers. And so I'm going to just declutter this drawer and then the rest of the stuff will just stay in here. Shut the lights, go in front. Okay, and then, like I said, I'm going to go through this other drawer organizer and I'm going to pull out all of the towels and bedding and all of that stuff for right now. On the top, we do have all of Chance's ties, which I want to get like a tie hanger that's specifically for his ties. So I'm going to have to order that off of Amazon. But when I was messing around with this, you'll see I end up moving the drawers several different times in this video because I was so indecisive on whether I wanted them closer to the front of the door or pushed back so that way we could have our laundry hamper right there. So I was back and forth, but I'll show you what I ended up doing at the end. Here in the back of the closet, I do have some of our throw blankets. And so I'm just pulling those out. Those are also going to go in our linen closet. Hopefully, hopefully I can get it organized to where it all fits. But then I called Chance in after he got home from work. And he's going through all of his clothes really quick, deciding what he's going to get rid of, which actually he's done this a lot over the year. So he didn't have nearly as much to get rid of. Plus a lot of his collared shirts, button ups, um, he's actually given to our son who is 12 and pretty much almost in the same size clothing as him. So we've been able to pass down a lot of that stuff to him. So in these baskets, I keep all of my scarves, handbags, um, headbands, all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go through this and decide what I want to get rid of and what I want to keep and then just reorganize it because they're obviously a mess.
Next, we're gonna declutter the shoes. And I actually get questions about our closet a ton when people see our shoe rack. This is not something that I bought. Our builder actually customized this for us when he built our house. So uh, unfortunately, there's not like a closet system or anything, but I have seen tons of people do DIY closet systems from products from Ikea. So definitely check that out on YouTube if you're looking for an affordable closet system that you can DIY yourself. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Okay, here is the huge pile of stuff that we are getting rid of. I'm just having Chance help me with this massive trash bag. We ended up putting all of this in this one big trash bag and then later we were trying to take it out to the car and it was so heavy so we ended up putting it into two big trash bags like splitting it in half so that way we could actually pick it up and carry it to the car. All right, so I am gonna pull all of this stuff out so that I can clean in here in just a minute, but I'm also gonna be doing some rearranging. I'm gonna keep my t-shirts in here, but I'm thinking I'm gonna actually hang up all my sweatshirts because those are what I reach for more often. And then all of my sweaters, I'm gonna fold up and put in these drawers. And I took all of the towels and blankets and everything else out of these drawers so that I can use them because I love how deep they are and they hold so much stuff. And so I'm gonna actually go through my dresser, these dresser drawers over here, and I'm gonna pull some of this stuff out and reorganize it into those drawers over there. Now we have pulled the big trash bag full of clothes and bags and shoes, all kinds of stuff that we're gonna be donating out here into the living room to give me a little more space to work with. Um, but then I still have all of these jeans to go through or pants to go through. Some of them I know for sure that I'm keeping. I wear them all the time, but then there's a few pair in here that I want to try on just to see like what they look like on because I haven't worn them in a while and, um, see if I want to donate them or keep them. So I'm going to try these on really quick and possibly get rid of some more pants. Okay, so I ended up trying on a bunch of different pair of jeans, and so I'm just showing you a few of the ones that I tried on. The first couple pair I liked, and then the last pair were some skinny jeans that I just felt like were not flattering on me anymore, and so I'm definitely going to get rid of those. But I didn't try on any more for the camera, so let me show you what I went through. All right, so I tried all these on. These are all keepers. Those I knew we were going to keep, and then... I'm adding these to my trash bag for donations. Okay, now that I'm finished decluttering, I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out of this closet.
them gold. I'm golden. Okay, so now we have all of the clothes and everything out. And this is what my mess is looking like right now. And it always gets worse before it gets better. But I promise it gets better. Um, so now I'm going to pull everything off of this very top shelf. I had to pull out a little step stool. And these are all of my throw pillows. I am going to get rid of a few of these. Um, but we keep them up here because we really don't have anywhere else to store them. And I know a lot of people say that you can vacuum seal them. But I like having them up here because when I do get ready to trade them out, um, usually it's the living room sofa that is where I trade these out to. And so whenever I do get re ready to trade them out, they're really easy to see and easy to find. Now the Christmas pillows, I am going to put those in the attic with all of the Christmas stuff. But the rest of the ones that I'm going to keep will just go back in here in the closet. Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute. I'm high on slow dancing with you. One, two, three, keep it going, last forever. All blacked out, then flying with you. I don't care that my mind's gone insane and my heart will burst into flames. Okay, yay! Everything is completely out of here, so we can start on the deep cleaning. And then that means we're one step closer to the organizing, which I'm really excited about. So first of all, I'm using these little dusters. These are the Febreze disposable dusters. And I just buy them in a big box. And I love them so much. They smell really good, which I always love in a cleaning product. But they're super quick and easy to do some dusting around the house. And so I figured I would go around and dust everything down first. And then I am going to use the multi-surface spray to kind of get any little areas that need a little bit of TLC. I don't care about the heartache and pain, just don't let the memories fade. We know we are lost in love with the lust, but hard times the mind so will win anyway. Yeah, we own the sun, naive while the drunk, oh. So I went to dust the shelf up here and I realized I did not pull this down when I pulled everything out. This is a picture of me and Chance from before we were ever married when we went to Universal and we're Shrek and Fiona. And I showed this in my last closet declutter, which was last year. And I was asking you guys what I should do with it. Um, and I think I just stuck it back up here in the closet because I still did not know what I wanted to do with it. But I think what I might do is I might take it up and put it in our playroom in one of the cabinets because we have the glass doors that, you know, you can kind of see what's in there and put things on display. So I think that would be a good place for this Shrek and Fiona picture of me and Chance. I know the kids love this picture. So I think I'm going to take it upstairs to the playroom and put it in there. Okay, now that I've cleaned the closet from top to bottom, you know that there's dust that falls all over the floor. So I'm going to do a quick vacuum and then I'm going to use my Swiffer to do a quick mop in here too.
It is my favorite time, the organizing part, putting everything back in here, but making it all a little bit more organized, a little bit more neat, and easier to get to everything. So we do keep our luggage up here on this top shelf. We go pretty often, but they're really easy to pull up and down. And then, of course, I'm throwing the pillows back up here. I'm trying to put them back in order, kind of by colors. And then I did end up putting the fall pillows here on both ends. And then all the other baskets that I already had in here, I'm just putting them in the same spots. They work really well. This basket at the very top is stuff that we just don't reach for that often. And then these other baskets I already showed you earlier, but it just has my headbands, handbags, all that kind of stuff. And then this is all of my packing cubes packed into one packing cube, if that makes sense. We love those for travel. And then I'm putting all of our shoes back on the shelf, pretty much in the same order that they were in before. All of Chance's shoes are on the bottom. And then I work my way from top to bottom with my shoes. All right, so now I'm gonna go through and put all of our clothes back in here, all the hangups, and for my dresses, I'm just kind of putting the seasonal ones together. So the long sleeve ones, the short sleeve ones, and then sleeveless, and then I also have like jumpsuits and things like that, which I only have a few of those, but I'm trying to do them just by the sleeve length and seasonal and not necessarily color just because this is what makes sense for me. But when I go to do my shirts and even chances, I will do jackets together and I'll put those in by color and then I'll do sweaters together by color, button ups by color. And so the rest of the things I do put them together just based on what kind of clothing it is and then also put it in like a color order. But I'm going to be honest, I'm not too picky about this. I do like to keep the like clothes together. So sweaters together, jackets together, short sleeve shirts, all that kind of stuff. But I'm not too picky about the colors. I don't know why it doesn't bother me very much. And it obviously doesn't bother Chance too much either. His are kind of hard to put together by color though because most of his are like plaid. Um, but I do think... To organize, it does make sense to do it by color. It's just whenever we get ready to put all of our clothes up, I feel like it takes so long that it's hard to always keep it that way. Um, but you'll have to let me know. Do you got, How do you guys organize your clothes in your closet? Do you do it by color? Do you do it by style? I am interested to see what works for you guys. Okay, so here you can see I'm pulling out my sweatshirts that are in this drawer and I'm hanging them up as I pull them out. And honestly, most of these sweatshirts are the exact same sweatshirt from Walmart. It's the Time and True sweatshirt. And I just have them in a bazillion different colors. And I even got rid of a couple of colors that I just don't really ever wear. So I got rid of those. But most of these sweatshirts are the same ones. And then I did this one that I just hung up. It's actually from Amazon. It's a Lululemon dupe sweatshirt. And I have that one in maroon, black, and a gray. And I love those too. A 
Okay, so I decided to push these sweatshirts down and add my sweaters back up in here. And I only did this because when I started filling up my drawers with the sweaters, I realized they were taking up a ton of space. And then when I put the last sweater in and I went to close the drawer, it actually snagged my sweater. So I was like, uh, let's just hang them back up. That's the safest thing to do. And then I'll just use the drawers for something else. This top drawer here is gonna be all of my everyday shirts. So a lot of these are t-shirts, but they're not like graphic tees. They're just everyday, cute, casual tees that I can wear with jeans. And then any other um, cute like tank tops and things like that are going in that drawer. Now I was also thinking about folding up my jeans and putting them in the drawers, but then I knew I had this space left in the closet. So I decided to just go ahead and keep my jeans hung up. Plus I can see easier which jeans are what. I have a lot of jeans that are like the same wash of color and so it's easier for me to see which ones are actually which pair of jeans when they're hanging up. And then this is our dirty clothes hamper which I actually bought a new hamper off of Amazon and I'm waiting for it to come in so hopefully I can share that in next week's video but it's a rolling hamper and I'm really excited about that because I've had this big hamper for so long and it's really heavy and I would like something that I could just roll from room to room. Okay, and then in this drawer, I'm putting other pairs of pants. So I've got like cargo pants, linen pants, and then also some jogger sweatpants. And this is actually the last drawer that I'm gonna do today because all the other stuff that's in my dresser, I'm gonna be going through that for next week's video. I was done for today. I was so tired, exhausted, and I didn't wanna start on the dressers because I feel like that's a whole other project. So. This will be the last drawer and then be sure to come back next week though to see how I finish organizing these drawers and also the dresser drawers. But here's a quick look at the overview of the closet. It looks so much better. It's so nice that we can actually walk in here and not trip over everything. We can see everything in the closet. It still looks very full, but we had a ton of hangers. And like I said earlier, we did not have one extra hanger to put anything on. So to have all these extra hangers is so nice. It means we got rid of a ton of stuff and it's just so great to have this done. All right, y'all. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully it gave you tons of motivation, some organization ideas, and don't forget to check out my other decluttering videos. And then, like I said, I'm going to have tons more because I am decluttering my entire house and taking you guys along with me for the whole process. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, come hang out with me for a day full of cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and even some cooking. I have a super easy crock pot meal to share with you guys. I'm just gonna be getting all the things done around my house. I'm a stay at home mom of two, so I've got lots of things to do today. And I hope you guys get tons of motivation from today's video. Okay friends, it is another beautiful day and so I am starting by just opening up the blinds and making my bed. I've already done a little workout this morning. I am ghostly pale and definitely need to do some self tanner, <laughs> but I'm not worried about that today. I have so much other things to get done, so the tan is definitely going to have to wait. 
but I'm super excited about this video because it is jam-packed full. I'm basically taking you through a whole day of cleaning, cooking, a grocery haul, and then I'm gonna have a second day where I am doing some more decluttering and organizing. I have been on a decluttering and organizing kick and I'm so excited because last week I actually decluttered and organized my master closet. So if you didn't see that video, be sure to go check it out. But this week I am finishing up decluttering my clothes. So I have a huge dresser drawer full of tons of clothes that need to be decluttered and reorganized because I can't even hardly close those drawers. <laughs> so I'm going to be finishing that up today and then I will be done decluttering all of my clothes for the beginning of the year and then of course I have a bazillion other spaces throughout my home that I still want to declutter so I will definitely be filming that and take you taking you along as I get all of those things done around my house throughout the next couple of months. So now that the bed is made, room is tidy, I'm moving into the kitchen and living area because it's a huge mess. And on this day, I was finishing up this book called Ugly Love. I was listening to it on Audible while I was cleaning, which a huge tip. If you're just not feeling motivated and you have a ton of stuff to do, like a decluttering project or your house is just a huge mess and you need to get it back in order and you need a little bit of motivation, put on a good book if you like listening to books. I love doing that, um, or jam out some music, or um, put on a YouTube video like this, a cleaning video, and just listen and kind of watch as you're getting your stuff done around the house. And just so you guys know, I did finish the book Ugly Love on this day, and it was so good. I love the Colleen Hoover books, but this one I was kind of torn about when I was about halfway through. I was just kind of like, oh, this is kind of moving slow, and I wasn't sure if I was going to really like it, and a lot of you told me over on Instagram how much you loved this book and to just keep pushing through because the ending was really good, and I completely agree. The ending was amazing, and I ended up giving this book four out of five stars just because it was so slow for me in the beginning, but it was really good, and I highly recommend it. And I will say this is more of like a romance type book, which Colleen Hoover is pretty much known for. And I really love the thriller suspense genre. So that's what I typically listen to. But I do love pretty much every single Colleen Hoover book that I've read. Um, but I'll probably go back to a thriller this next book. I don't know what I'm going to read yet, but I do have a wish list full of books that I need to get on to. But if you have any good book recommendations, let me know. I am over on Goodreads too, and I, I usually forget to <laughs> update it, but I'm trying to be better about it and updating it because I have just listened to so many books over the years, and I have a lot of really, really good ones that I've loved. I was at the wrong place at the right time. So here you'll notice that we have my husband's guitar out, and that's because my husband and my daughter, Gracie June, she's 10, they are going to be doing the school talent show. She's in fifth grade, and they have a talent show coming up, and she decided that she wanted to sing in the talent show, and she asked her daddy to play guitar for her, and it's funny because she has never sung in front of an audience before. She's so cute. She's so good. Um, just naturally just has a gift for singing, unlike me. <laughs> um, she gets that from her daddy. But it's so sweet because they've been doing a lot of practicing. And so anyways, I just thought I would tell you guys that since I was putting the guitar up. But I'm super excited for the talent show and to see her sing in front of all of her friends. I think it's going to be really cute. And of course, I'm going to film it, but I'll probably just share it like in Instagram stories or something. When you took my hands and let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy
Okay, so I'm gonna continue putting away our clean dishes and then I'm gonna load the dishwasher and then wash any dishes by hand. And as I continue doing the dishes, I just wanted to ask you guys for some feedback. I love hearing from y'all and getting to hear what you wanna see from me. So will y'all let me know down in the comments, what are some things that you enjoy seeing in my videos or what gets you the most motivated when you see it in my videos? Is it the deep cleaning? Are you looking for more recipes? Are you looking for everyday cleaning, day in the life type videos? Um, I just wanna know what is it that brings you back to my channel if you do continue to come back? And of course, what do you want to see more of? I really enjoy making videos like this where it's pretty much all of the mundane mom life tasks that I have to get done every single day because those are the types of videos I like to see. I like to see how other moms are getting things done around their house, what their schedules look like, maybe you know some hacks or some things that they do that I could work into my own schedule that maybe works for them. So those are the types of videos that I really enjoy watching. Um, and so I actually enjoy making them too. So y'all just let me know though, maybe it's not that. Maybe it's not a day in the life for you that gets you excited. Maybe it's deep cleaning or maybe you wanna see more cleaning hacks or Amazon products, things like that. So let me know because I'm definitely planning on some content coming up. Of course, there will be lots of decluttering, cleaning and organizing, but let me know if there's anything else that you guys wanna see. Small bar with neon lights Talked about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy So really quickly, I did want to mention that if you have not seen my weekly cleaning routine video, I posted that several weeks ago and I just talked about what my weekly cleaning routine looks like with the new year and what cleaning tasks and everything I do on each day of the week. I have pretty much been sticking to it. Some days I will have something that comes up and I might have to push things to the next day or I might have to you know, do things a day early, but for the most part, I've been sticking to this cleaning routine and it's worked really, really well. I clean four days a week, and if you go watch that video, you can see exactly which cleaning tasks I do on what days of the week, and it's been amazing, and I just feel like I've been so productive lately.
Okay, so I actually have a Thrive Market order and I'm bringing it in and I'm gonna give you guys a quick little grocery haul from Thrive Market. I do order a lot of the same things over and over again, things that my kids love, they're just our favorites and staples that we have in our house. But every single order, I also try to get a few new items to try out too because we just love trying new stuff and Thrive Market's website makes it super easy to shop and just find some things that we've never tried before. All right, so all the Kodiak cake bowls and cups, we love getting these. They're so good. So I got a couple of the flapjack ones and then the brownie ones. My kids love these Bobo strawberry stuffed oat bites, especially Gracie June. I got some of these crispy snack bars. These are like Rice Krispie treats, but a little bit healthier version. Organic cheddar cheesy smiles. My kids love these. The late July chips. I love these. Casey will eat this whole bag by himself. Um, I haven't tried the Thrive Peanut Butter before, but I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And then my kids love the granola bars, so I got some of those. This is new, though. I haven't tried these before. These are like little energy bites, and so we're going to try those out. Also, an energy square. This came in different flavors, too. I'll let you guys know how those are. And then we got some skinny dipped almonds. We always love these and the skinny dipped chocolate peanut butter cups. Now we have lots of other favorite products that we love to order from Thrive Market. These are just a few of our favorites that we order all the time, but I love the fact that I can get them off of Thrive Market at a discounted price. And like I said, they're shipped straight to my door. So it makes it super easy for me and convenient. Now my family is not on a special diet or anything, but I will say that if you are on a special diet, whether you're paleo, gluten-free, low carb, whatever it is, Thrive Market makes it so easy to shop on their website by your particular diet. And I know that that can be super hard to do when you're just walking through a grocery store, but like I said, Thrive Market makes it super easy to search by your particular diet and you can shop online, see exactly how much money you're spending, save some money, and then just get it shipped to your door. Now, if you'd like to try Thrive Market out for yourself, I actually got a special link that will get you 30% off your first order and a free gift if you use my link. And I'll be sure to leave my link down in the description box, but it's just thrivemarket.com slash amydarley, and you get that 30% off your first order plus a free gift. And if you're already a Thrive Market member, y'all let us know down in the comments and let us know your favorite things to order so we can try it out too. All right, so now I'm actually making dinner and I figured I would show you a little of the behind the scenes. I'm making some crock pot pork chops. It's super easy, but I was actually filming it to make a reel and a YouTube short. So I thought I would show you guys how I do that. I do it with my phone. And so I'm actually filming with both my vlogging camera for YouTube and then I'm filming with my phone for the Instagram reel slash YouTube short video. And this recipe is super easy, by the way. I just took some boneless pork chops, threw them in the crock pot, put a couple of cans of cream of mushroom soup on top, and then also a ranch seasoning packet. And then you just cook that for about four hours on high, or you can do on low for six to eight hours. And then I'm just going to serve mine with some rice. And a lot of times we do a salad with it or mashed potatoes, broccoli, whatever side you like. I love meals like this because our family is super busy in the evenings. And so this allows me to go ahead and kind of prep dinner. And like I said, it was the easiest thing ever. I just threw it in the crock pot. But I, that's why I like stuff like this is because we have sports almost every single night of the week. My kids are super busy. And I'm sure that all you guys are super busy too. But this just makes it a little bit easier for us in the evening to do simple, easy meals like this. All right, so now I have moved on to folding some laundry. I had lots and lots of laundry that was clean, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and get these folded and put away. Also, I thought I would mention, I always love watching TV shows while I'm folding laundry. And on this day, I was watching that TV show, The Watcher on Netflix, and I ended up, not on this day, but I ended up finishing it before I'm doing this voiceover. So I've gone through the whole season now, and I will say, I was very disappointed. I felt like I was so invested in the show and trying to figure out who the watcher was. And I had like my suspicions. And then the last episode, the way the ending was, I was just very disappointed. So if you haven't seen it yet, I don't know. Y'all will have to let me know Do you, if you've watched it, if you liked the ending or if you liked the show. But 
I was just very, very disappointed in the way it ended. So, and I don't even know if they're going to have another season or not. But anyways, that's what I was watching while I was folding laundry. Okay, now it is time to clean the floors. My floors are actually really dirty. I know they don't look like it, but we do run our vacuum pretty much every day, but we definitely needed to mop the floors. So I'm using my vacuum mop here. This is the Tenko One Floor S5. I think that's what it's called. I will have it linked down in the description box. If you do not already have a vacuum mop combo, this is the best. It saves me so much time when it comes to doing my floors. I get to vacuum and mop at the same time. And I'll be honest, it doesn't tell you that you can use it on the rugs, but I use it anyways on the, the rugs. It doesn't let out a ton of water. So your rugs are not going to be like sopping wet or anything. The only thing is, is it does pull up a lot of hair and stuff out of the rugs that I'm not sure if the vacuum will be over, be able to handle that over time. But so far, it's been great. I haven't had any issues with it. And I used to have the Tenko iFloor 2, and I did the same exact thing with that one. I ended up giving it away when I upgraded to this version. Both of those vacuums have been amazing. So if you need one that's a little bit more affordable, I would go with the iFloor 2. If you are willing to spend a little bit more money, then I would go with this version just because it's a little bit more high tech. But I do have both of these saved on my Amazon storefront along with all of my other cleaning favorites. I also have a like to know it shop where I have all of my favorites saved there too and you can find clothing favorites, um, home decor, all kinds of different things. So if you're ever looking for links that you have seen something in my videos that you're looking for a link for, definitely go check my description box and you can either check my Amazon storefront or my LTK link. All right, so here is the dirty water. Isn't that gross? They do not, the floors did not look that dirty, but they were pretty dirty. Another huge tip to make sure that your vacuum doesn't ever smell is to make sure that you self-clean it every single time that you do your floors. And then I also take the dirty water container 
and I wash that every single time. I wash it out and make sure that it's clean and let it air dry before I use it again. All right, so the downstairs is all nice and clean and I'm getting ready to go get the kids and then I'll show you what dinner looks like when we get back. I couldn't tell you what it feels like But I sure think you do So dinner is ready. I'm going to take the crock pot top off and just show you what the inside looks like. This is so easy, so good. You can do this with whatever meats you want to as well. So you could use chicken, you could use steak, whatever you want to use. And this meal is going to be delicious. Also, I always get questions about my crock pot. It's actually from Walmart and it's super affordable. I love it. It's pretty and um, I have it linked also in my LTK shop. All right, you guys, so it's the next day and hopefully you're ready for a little bit of decluttering and organizing. Last week, I actually decluttered and organized our master closet here, which let me show you what it looks like really quick. So here is what our master closet is looking like right now. But if you did not see last week's video, be sure to go check it out. I deep cleaned, decluttered, and organized the entire closet. It was a huge mess, you guys. It looks so much better. Um, but today, I'm going to be decluttering and organizing these drawers, my dresser drawers. I also need to go through this because we have a bunch of stuff that doesn't need to be in here. So I'm going to get rid of some of that stuff out of here and then I'm going to be decluttering and organizing my dresser drawers because all of these are packed full. So I mean this one like that's annoying. I'm always having to push things down to try to close it up. So we're just going to go through all of this stuff and get rid of some things reorganize the drawers i'm literally going to pull everything out and some of the drawers i am going to be using in here to organize some of the stuff that i take out of there so i am going to get rid of some things but i'm also going to reorganize as well while i go now last week i finally decided to buy a new laundry hamper i've literally had these since i was in college um, but they're super heavy. Some of the pieces are starting to come apart, so they'll snag sweaters and stuff like that every now and then. So I finally went on to Amazon and bought a new hamper, and Chance just put it together for me. And this is the hamper that I went with. We already put some dirty clothes in here, but it's a rolling hamper, and they actually had more than one size. I think I got the bigger one which now looking at this one, I kind of wish I would have gone with the normal sized one, the regular size, um, just because this is huge. And I would probably have to do like five loads if we actually filled this thing up. So I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but I do love the fact that I can just roll it from my bedroom to the laundry room. It's not gonna be heavy and it does fit right here in that little section. So I'm going to take this out and put our new laundry hamper in there. I will link this one, but like I said, this one is huge. I would probably go with the smaller one if, um, unless you like all share one big hamper in your house, but I definitely think this is a little too big, <laughs> but I think I'm actually going to order the other size one for our laundry room because I do love this one so much. I just know that this one probably wouldn't even fit in the space in our laundry room. So I'm gonna get the smaller one for there. And then I have another basket in the laundry room like that one. So I'm just gonna get rid of both of those. I got all these random items put away and now we just have our little basket with the necessities which is just a few pins, chapstick, and a remote. And now I'm finally going to go through these drawers and organize them. I'm going to declutter a bunch of this stuff. Look at all these bras that I have. So most of them are sports bras and then I have a few regular bras. 
but I am going to be getting rid of a lot of stuff. I found a lot of these on Amazon recently, so you'll see a few of these still have tags on them because I just got them. Um, I had a couple pair that I really liked, and they came in a pack of three. So I got a bunch of those, and they're nice just to be able to wear underneath shirts. And as I'm going through all of the clothes and everything, I'm pulling out one drawer at a time, decluttering what I want to get rid of so I can make some space on the bed, and then I'll pull out all the stuff from the next drawer. And then after I'm done decluttering all of the drawers, then I'm going to go back in and reorganize them and put things in different drawers based on what makes the most sense. Um, but as I'm going through, I'm kind of thinking to myself, like, when was the last time I wore this? When was the last time I used this sports bra? When was the last time I actually wore this regular bra, you know? And if I haven't worn it recently, then I'm going to get rid of it. Now, this next drawer was actually a mix of bras because no more could fit in that top drawer and then underwear and socks. So that's another thing that I had a ton of that I need to get rid of. Now, I'm curious, how often do you guys declutter your drawers or your clothes. I typically declutter at least a few times a year, but I don't do a huge declutter like this one except for once a year. I try to do this at the beginning of every year where I will actually go through all of the drawers, all of, I will literally pull every single thing out of my closet so that way I can deep clean it. But I also think when I pull everything out, it just helps me reorganize it better and it really makes me look at every single thing that I have and even though I still end up with too much stuff I feel like I still have too many clothes in there um, at least I've gotten rid of a ton of stuff and it's organized and I can actually walk in my closet or I can actually close my drawers and it just makes me feel so much better but I'm curious to know how often you guys declutter your clothes as well Okay, so I got these organizers off of Amazon last year when I decluttered my dresser drawers and I really love them. I use the right one is all for underwear and then this one here on the left is for socks and I feel like it definitely makes the drawers a lot more organized and I can easily see, you know, everything and which type of sock that I need because I definitely use different types depending on workouts or if I or what shoes I'm wearing that kind of thing so I love these organizers for the drawer the other one with the bras in it I ended up just using it for my normal everyday bras and I love that organizer too and it's also from Amazon all right, now moving on to the bathing suit and cover-up drawer. So I ended up getting rid of a lot of cover-ups. I have some really cute stuff, but I just never wear them. And so they're just taking up space in my drawer and I figured somebody else can use them. So I'm gonna donate them. Also, I had a lot of bathing suits that I got rid of, but then there are a few that I ended up keeping and I'm hoping to find some bathing suits as replacements for those because they're starting to get a little bit dingy I guess because we go to the beach all the time so from the salt water or even the pool um, some of those bathing suits that I reach for all the time I actually wear them all the time but some of them are starting to get a little bit dingy and like loose just from wearing them all the time so I definitely want to find some new ones to replace those but before I replace them I have to buy some new ones <laughs> This is my pajama drawer, which I 
have some stuff that I'm getting rid of, obviously, but I also have some other really cute pajamas that I had been sitting on the shelf in my closet because they would not fit in my pajama drawer. So I'm definitely going to be switching up the drawers that I'm using for pajamas, and I really don't have a ton. It's just that was a really small drawer to keep all of my pajama sets in. So I will definitely be switching those around. And then now this is just a bunch of random stuff. So I have some jumpsuits. I have more pajama pants. I'm getting rid of these pajama pants because I never wear them. And then I also have some everyday shirts, which these are gonna go in one of those drawers in my closet. Now for this drawer, I have all of my athletic tops. So I have long sleeve and short sleeve. I also have a few of those like athletic jumpsuits. They're um, like almost like tennis dresses. Um, so I have a few of those in there. But these little organizers I really love for my athletic shirts because they're a lot thinner and if I pull one out of the drawer then it'll just kind of fall over and they'll stack on top of each other. So I do really love this organizer to keep all of my shirts standing up. So as I'm going through and getting rid of them and putting them back in here, I am just kind of organizing by color. Yay, we've made it to the last drawer and this is all of my shorts. So I've actually got all of my athletic shorts and I've got all of my everyday like jean shorts, linen shorts, those kind of things. So this one was definitely packed full and I think I'm going to end up moving all of my athletic clothes into my closet and then that way I'll have a drawer that is just for my jean and linen shorts. All right, so here is the pile that I am getting rid of from these drawers. These shorts I'm keeping, I just didn't really have much room on the bed, so I just laid them right there. But this is all the stuff that I'm keeping. Now I need to just figure out which drawers I wanna put things in. Okay, so before I put everything back in the drawers, I'm gonna do a quick vacuum just to make sure that they're all cleaned out. Inside the noise, I can feel you mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places I hope it means that you'll come home to me Once you've traveled the world, all the spaces inside your heart
traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. All right, so this is all I have left to organize. So we've got workout shorts, more workout shorts, um, some pullovers that I use for working out when it's a little colder, some more everyday shirts and body suits. These are just like lounge shorts, but they're not necessarily pajamas, but I guess I could put these in my pajama drawer and then workout shirts. So this drawer is empty. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna put in there. The rest of the drawers are organized, but then if I come in here, I have a few empty drawers that I want to use to organize some of the stuff that's still on my bed. Um, I might move this stuff around, but I have all of my like workout leggings and then I have workout pullovers and stuff here, which I might move these into this drawer and put all my shorts in here with my leggings. And then in this drawer, we've got like joggers and pants and things like that. Um, and then this drawer is also empty. So I'm about to bring the other stuff in here and give it a place. Okay, so I ended up putting these other like lounge shorts just in here with my pajamas. I figured that made the most sense. And then I am moving all of these like pullover type shirts up into this drawer and putting all of my workout shirts in here as well and then the bottom drawer i'm going to put all of my athletic shorts in here which i feel like worked out perfect and now whenever i'm reaching for my workout clothes i'll have both the shorts pants tops all the things right here and i can get my outfit together And then here I decided to move all of my joggers and pants down one drawer so that way I had all my shirts kind of stacked together. So we've got the top drawer is full of everyday shirts and then this drawer is full of everyday shirts plus the body suits. Okay, so everything has been organized. Let's go through and look at each drawer really quick. So we've got our underwear drawer, sock drawer, empty drawer, I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in there, pajama drawer, and then I've also got those lounge shorts in here. So much better because before I had them in there and I couldn't even close it. And then sports bras and regular bras. Probably still have way too many of these, but I love them all. <laughs> um, and then bathing suit drawer and cover-ups. And then my shorts. All right, and then moving in here, we've got just tons of t-shirts, whether it's seasonal shirts, school shirts, um, graphic t-shirts, all the things. Then in this drawer, we've got all of our athletic shirts and athletic pullovers for colder weather. In here, we've got all the leggings and all of athletic shorts. This drawer is like everyday t-shirts, ones that I would wear, you know, out with jeans or with a cardigan over it. We've also got sweater t-shirts. And then in this drawer, more everyday t-shirts and tank tops. And then my body suits are right here. And then the last drawer is my jogger sweatpants and regular pants. So all of my clothes are now decluttered and organized. All right, friends, so we have another decluttering project done. I have another trash bag full of items that I'm gonna be donating. I am not donating my undergarments or bathing suits, don't worry. <laughs> but it feels so good to have this project checked off my to-do list. I can't wait for the next one. 
Um, Y'all have to let me know what are some spaces that you're looking forward to decluttering in your own house. And if you need some motivation for some decluttering, I do have my full decluttering playlist linked down in the description box. I hope y'all have the best week ever and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, and welcome to my bathroom clean, declutter, and organize for 2024. Today I'll be going through every nook and cranny of our master bathroom and purging anything that I haven't used this last year and also reorganizing the cabinets and drawers as I go. If you're ready for some major motivation, then keep on watching. <music> Okay, so here's a quick look at the before of our bathroom. I'm gonna show you what the drawers and cabinets look like. I typically go through our bathroom and declutter and organize at least once a year. And so I haven't done this since last year, but I was honestly very surprised because this is probably the first time that my cabinets weren't stuffed full of things. So I've done a pretty good job of not getting a bunch of things that I don't need over the last year. So that's been good. Um, but I did still have a lot of stuff in here that had been in here for a while and I'm pretty sure that some of it was probably expired or I just never really used it much after trying it. So I'm still going to get rid of a good bit of stuff and just kind of reorganize as I go through it all. All right, so before I do pull everything out, I'm actually going to go ahead and tidy up in here first, put everything where it typically goes, and then I'll start pulling things out. Now these acrylic containers that I have down here, I got a few years ago off of Amazon and I still really love them. I feel like it helps me keep everything organized. I have that little Lazy Susan that has mostly like skincare and hair care products on it. And then I have these drawer acrylic containers and I use that for all of my hair products and then also makeup removing cloths. So I'm gonna share all that with you later as I reorganize everything because I did put labels on them with my Cricut machine when I first organized with them. And so since I already have the labels, I just decided I'm gonna keep the same stuff in there. It just makes it easy and it's worked the last few years. So I figure why change anything up if it's working for me? Now, like I said, it's been over a year since I've done this. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum and wipe out the drawers and everything while I'm doing this. Um, there was definitely some hair and things like that in there. So it's great to just give these drawers a good cleaning at the same time. And here's a look at everything that I've pulled out so far. This is all on my side of the vanity. So the other side of the vanity is my husband's and then this side is mine. And this is all the stuff that we've had in the cabinets and drawers. And like I said, this is actually very minimal compared to what I've done in years past. So if you ever want to see what my bathroom looked like in the other videos that I've done when I've decluttered, be sure to check those out. They're on my channel. You could also just search Amy Darley bathroom declutter or something like that on YouTube and surely those videos will pop up. But in the past, I've had a whole lot more stuff. So I do think that doing this once a year has been super beneficial. And then, like I said, pulling every single thing out at one time, I feel like makes you realize how much stuff you have. And then you're also able to put your hands on everything and decide whether you're gonna keep it or get rid of it. And the more that I have decluttered over the years, the better I've gotten about letting things go and wanting to get rid of a lot more stuff. Look at these acrylic 
containers, by the way. These are the ones that were in my drawer. So I am going to clean these out while I'm going through everything too before I put them back in the drawers. But like I said, over the years, I've gotten so much better about getting rid of things and just realizing they're just taking up space. My mind is so much more clear whenever I have less clutter. And so I have just been a whole lot better about getting rid of stuff. Now here you can see I'm literally picking up every single product, looking at it and deciding whether I'm going to keep it or toss it. And most of these items I am just throwing away because they've been used, but some items I did put to the side that I wanted to keep for Gracie June that she could use. Um, but I'm also going through and I'm kind of organizing it by like hair products, skincare, you know, that kind of stuff, putting them in little groups while I'm going through everything. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can't be. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's beating fast when it's looking like that. Oh, his smile is killing me. It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs, so I can't get enough. I'm thinking about him all the time. I can get him off my mind. Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine. My heart is saying, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're ready to sort through all this stuff and reorganize it back into the drawers. These little acrylic containers I also got off of Amazon last year and they're stackable, which I love because our drawers are a little bit deeper than I would like. So I'm able to actually stack a couple of these containers on top of each other inside of the drawer to make the most use of that space. So the containers that I put on the bottom are the ones that have items I don't reach for as frequently but they're still really easy to get to. And then the containers that I put on top are items that I typically reach for every single day, at least once in the morning or once at night. And this is all of my makeup. I put all of my brushes. I have my one compact of makeup, which is the Saint Beauty. I've talked about that on my channel before. All of that goes in one little acrylic container. And then I do have another little makeup organizer that I use to put like my mascara and some lip gloss, some lipstick, those kind of things in so that they're standing straight up and I can look at them from the top and easily pick it up. But other than that, that's all the makeup that I have. And then these other acryl acrylic containers are going to go in this top drawer. And these are items that I reach for every single day. So like my toothpaste, deodorant, contact case, my um, makeup wipes, all that kind of stuff. This is the Lazy Susan organizer that I was talking about that I got from Amazon a few years ago. I still love this thing. I put all of my skincare on the top and then all of my hair care products go on the bottom. I also have like my setting spray and things like that on the bottom. But I love this because you can actually customize the little pieces on there so that 
you know, it works for whatever products you have. So you can take the little pieces out and you can move them up or down depending on where you want them for your particular products. Okay, and this is the little makeup organizer that I was talking about. I do have a few brushes, eyeliner, lipsticks, mascara, those kind of things. And then I also put a few extra tins that go into my makeup compact on the bottom piece and then an eyelash curler and that's all I have in here. And then here in this basket, I'm putting all of my tanning products and also my handheld steamer. And this is gonna go in the back of my cabinet because I don't reach for these items daily. Okay, so I took a little lunch break. I'm back in here ready to start doing some more cleaning and decluttering and organizing. But it's so funny because every single time I do one of these videos and film them, I always have to stop at some point because the sun is directly behind our house and it's like shining straight through the window and it creates all these shadows so you can't see anything on the camera. But Chance had the brilliant idea to put up a blanket. So that way the sun is not directly in the window. So I'm gonna get back to working on this video and doing some cleaning and decluttering. Okay, I am back at it and I'm almost done organizing all of the things on my side of the vanity and then I'll get started on my husband's side. But I seriously think it's so funny that every single time I film in my bathroom, I always have to stop because of the sun coming through our window. It just makes these horrible shadows and you can't see anything that I'm doing. So I thought it was genius that my husband decided to put up that blanket for me so that I could finish filming and get all of this done.
Okay, real quick, I wanted to say that in this drawer, I did end up changing a few of these items around. So I'll show you the overview of what everything looks like at the end. And you can tell me which way you like it better, either the way I have it now or the way I have this drawer at the end of the video. I kind of have the, a couple of the containers were turned a different way. And here in this bottom drawer is where I just keep all of my hair tools. I just kind of stack them in here. And then I also have this little silicone mat that's supposed to be like a heat protectant for your countertop. But it can also double as a drying mat. And since I decided that I didn't want to have my toothbrush holder on my countertop anymore, I want to keep my toothbrush and toothpaste in my actual drawer because I just wanted the countertop to have a little bit less stuff on it. So I'm keeping the toothpaste and toothbrush in the drawer. So now whenever we brush our teeth, we can actually let the toothbrush dry on the mat if we want to before we throw it back in the drawer. So that's what I've kind of been using it for since I reorganized. All right, now I'm on my husband's side and all of these drawers are all his stuff and I was pulling everything out and then this is his, his toiletry bag that he keeps in the bottom drawer and I realized it had toothpaste all over it. Don't know how that happened, but... He did thank me later because I cleaned it all up and I also reorganized his toiletry bag while I had everything out. But I'm just going through and cleaning these drawers up and just reorganizing it for him and just kind of putting things where it makes sense, things that he's grabbing for every single day in that top drawer. And then the other items, he really doesn't have a ton. So it was actually very quick and easy to go through his stuff. I did have him come in and help me go through a few things that I didn't know whether he needed to keep or not. But other than that, I mean, we pretty much kept most of his stuff. We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the stars. Or hang out in hotel bars. Driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the stars. Baby, while we're young. And here I'm putting his toothbrush in a toothbrush holder, which I got for him last year that he apparently doesn't use. So that's the reason there was toothpaste all over his toiletry bag. But now he's he's good. He's got it in a toothbrush holder. So that should help with that problem. <laughs>
Okay, so in this cabinet, we actually keep all of our cleaning supplies, but then also all of our extra toiletries in here. So we've got some bigger items. I always try to get an extra set of shampoo and conditioner so I never run out. And then once I'm out of the one in my shower, I'll go ahead and buy a new one to keep in here. But also in the little drawers, which I got those drawers from um, Walmart last year. It's the Home Edit Collection, and I really like those drawers too. They're pretty good. So I have extra loofahs and then we also have all the extra toiletries in the bottom drawer. So extra toothpaste, toothbrushes, um, toiletry items that we put in our bags when we're traveling, those kind of things. So we hopefully will never run out of stuff because I try to keep it stocked up. Also, I will say I definitely recommend keeping some cleaning products that you use in the bathrooms just because when you get ready to clean the bathrooms, it makes it so much quicker. And I honestly clean my bathroom so much more with having the products in there and ready to use whenever I need to. All right, so now I'm actually moving into our toilet room. I'm going to pull this cabinet out just because it's so hard to film in there. So I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to show you guys what all is in here. There's a lot of extra toiletry items in here as well. Feminine products, toilet paper, extra razors, mat, face masks, a bunch of nail polish that I pretty much ended up getting rid of all but one nail, nail polish because they've been in there for so long that I just feel like they're probably not any good and we never paint our nails. Every now and then I will paint Gracie June's nails, but honestly I've gotten to the point where I just feel like none of the nail polish that I use is any good. So I either need to get some new nail polish or I need to take her to get her nails done whenever she wants them painted because they just always turn out a lot better and last a lot longer when I take her to get them done. So I'm gonna go through all of this stuff. This is the drawer, these drawers actually had a lot of stuff that were like sample things or smaller things that um, I just never use. So I ended up throwing a lot of this stuff away. And then I also gave Gracie June a few of the items that were in these drawers that I think she'll actually use that I won't. And I'm sorry, I keep talking about my daughter like you guys all know who she is and you've all been here forever. So if you're new here, then I apologize. My daughter is 10 years old. Her name is Gracie June. And then my son is 12 and his name is Kaysen. So if you're new here, I have two kids. Those are my two kiddos. And I will actually be going through their bathroom very soon. They do share a bathroom. And my daughter has, of course, gotten into skincare like every other 10-year-old in America, <laughs> which is funny to me because I don't think I ever cared about skincare until I was probably like 30. But I'm going to go through their bathroom and reorganize in there very soon because she's got all of her stuff in there now and they need just... They need to have it reorganized so that they each have some drawers and they have their own space and, you know, they can kind of share it a little bit better. But I also have other areas that I'm going to be decluttering. I definitely need to do our master closet. That's something that we do at least once a year and it is de in desperate need of a good declutter and organize and cleaning and everything. 
So I'll be doing that very soon. I've got my kitchen on my list to declutter and organize. I also have a closet underneath our stairs, which is basically our cleaning closet and a bunch of other random stuff just thrown in there. So that's also on my list. And then in our built-ins, in our living room, I have lots of decor and other random things thrown in those cabinets. And I never pull things out of those cabinets. We do have some games that we play. But other than that, I feel like everything just gets shoved in there and we never use anything. So I'm ready to purge a ton of stuff. And if you're feeling the same way, or maybe you just need a little kick in the booty, a little motivation to get you going when it comes to decluttering and organizing, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and definitely turn on the bell notification button so that way you get notified when I post new videos because I have a ton of decluttering and organizing to do and I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I do it all. And as I was in here, I decided I'm getting rid of a few of these robes. Nobody needs five robes. So I'm going to keep one lightweight cotton one and then the one waffle knit one that I use every time I get out of the shower. The rest of them are getting donated or I don't know. Should I donate those? Do you donate um, robes? I guess I could wash them and then donate them. All right, so this cabinet right here is right above our toilet. We have a few extra cleaning supplies. I don't use these as often in here, so that's why they're in here. And then I also have extras of like the flosser sticks, which we don't really reach in here too much because I have a container that I keep them in on our bathroom countertop, which I'll show you in just a little bit. And then we've got some cotton balls and Q-tips. And then this other clear container, it used to have loofahs in it, but since we have that other drawer in our cabinet that I put the loofahs in, we don't keep anything in this now. So I decided to just put some of Chance's extra throwaway razors in that. Now this is all the stuff that's gonna go back into Gracie June's room. A few of these items were already hers, but then a few items I just decided to throw in this little bag here and she can go through it and use it. These bun holders or makers are definitely hers. And then this contact solution is actually gonna go in my toiletry bag. But all this other stuff is going to Gracie June. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, and then here is my bag of trash that is going out of here. And actually there was a lot more than I thought. That bag was pretty heavy. So I'm pretty proud of myself for getting rid of some things and not feeling any guilt about getting rid of it. It actually makes me feel really good. Okay, now that everything is decluttered and organized, I'm gonna quickly do some cleaning in here, wipe down all the counters, the mirrors, the cabinets, all of that stuff, and then also clean the toilet while I'm at it. And then I decided to trade out the little wicker tray that is that we usually keep on our countertop for the one that we used to have in the kitchen. It's a little bit smaller and I want to keep a little bit less stuff on top of my countertop. So I'm going to share with you that in just a second. You come home to me once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart.
Okay, this is the new wicker tray that I'm putting in here. It's not new to us. It's just I'm moving it from our kitchen to the bathroom. It's a little bit smaller than the one that I was using previously, and I'm just going to keep the same little floral arrangement. I wanted to get a new one, but I didn't have time to go out and get anything. I was kind of thinking of something smaller, but honestly, now that I took all the other stuff off, it actually does really good here with this tray. Then I decided to keep this ceramic stackable container set here on my countertop as well because I use it all the time. So for the top, I use it as a little jewelry dish and then the top container holds our floss sticks and then the bottom container holds my cotton rounds. So this is something that I use all the time and I love having it here on top of the countertop. And then the only other thing that I'm going to put here on the tray is this little candle. And I love it so much because now whenever I'm cleaning in here, it'll just be a few items, super easy to pull on and off while I'm cleaning. And then another thing that I did was I put our soaps at each of our sinks. We both like different soaps. He loves the Dial foaming soap and I like the Mrs. Meyer soap. So we each got what we wanted. It may not be the most aesthetically pleasing, you know, soap holders, but... We love them. It's in our master bathroom. Nobody else is going to be in here but us. And then, of course, you guys when you watch me clean in here. So, hopefully, you don't mind that too much. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss Okay, I've got all the towels and robes and everything going in the washing machine and I decided while I was in here cleaning up I might as well pull out a magic eraser and get some of these scuff marks off the wall. There is a little um, scuff mark where the paint kind of came off so that's just gonna have to be there for right now. Maybe my husband will be able to come in here and paint over that little area sometime soon but for now it's very minimal you don't even really notice it and like I said we're the only ones that ever come in here <laughs> besides my kids and you guys so the last thing I'm going to do is vacuum and mop the floors So the bathroom is all fresh and clean. I'm going to put some fresh hand towels in here and then I'm going to give you guys an overview of what all of the cabinets and drawers look like now that they're all organized. It feels so good to have the bathroom done and know that I have one more space decluttered and organized in my house. I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and kind of seeing my process on how I go through and declutter and organize. It's definitely a process. It definitely takes longer than I like, but at least I know that it's all done, it's decluttered and organized, and honestly, once I get a space done, it motivates me to get another space done because it feels so good. So 
I'm excited about doing all the other spaces in my house. Hopefully you're excited about seeing those videos and um, maybe get some motivation or some ideas from it. If you're ever looking for links to anything that I use in my videos, I do leave them in my description box, but I'll also put links down in the comments. I share all of my favorite products, cleaning tools, even outfits and other home products that I use on a daily basis over on my Like to Know It and also on my Amazon storefront. So if you're ever looking for anything, definitely check out my description box or the comments and I'll have links for all that stuff for you. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you in my next video. Bye. All right, so we have a trash pile and then donations pile. Bathroom is done. Okay guys, I hope you're ready for some cleaning motivation. Today's video has lots and lots of cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and even a grocery haul. So get your to-do list ready and let's tackle some tasks together. Good morning, friends. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Let me know in the comments what's on your to-do list for the day or if you have any decluttering or organizing projects that you'd like to get done in the near future. I love hearing what you guys have going on and what all is on your busy to-do list. In today's video, I'm gonna be cleaning up the house and actually I filmed this on a Saturday while the kids were at friends' houses. I don't typically film YouTube videos on the weekends because we're either doing something as a family or we have some sort of sporting event going on for the kids, but this was the first weekend in a while that we didn't have anything going on. So I figured I would take advantage of it and tidy up the house and then take chance, my husband with me to Sam's Club to stock up on some food and household items. And then I even reorganized some of the kitchen cabinets. So I feel like I got a lot done today and it felt great to just have the stuff checked off of my to-do list. So of course we started with getting the bed made and then I'm gonna tidy up around the downstairs. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it. Too bad I hate advice. Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect. It's so hard to decide. Oh, I know he got me good in his pocket. I know that I'm just a treat. also had lots of laundry today so you can see I've got three loads one was a very very small load but then two bigger loads of laundry to fold I'm gonna get to that a little bit later in today's video so for right now I'm just gonna take these baskets into my bedroom and get them out of the way and then like I said later on I will go back in there and get all this stuff folded Okay, so I'm gonna be a little honest. This little area kind of drives me nuts and I talk about it all the time because we don't have a mudroom or anywhere to put the kids' backpacks and 
So here they are. Kaysen actually has to take a basketball bag and his backpack to school. So he's got those three or those two bags there. Gracie June's backpack is there. And this is just where we keep them when they're home during the school year. It does kind of stink because I feel like it gets in the way, but it's the best that we have for right now. I wish that we could do something in our garage and have some sort of, you know, like mudroom type locker room situation out there. So maybe that would be an option. The only problem is our garage gets so like filled with pollen, especially during the spring, like during this time of the year, the pollen comes out and it gets really bad and everything gets covered in pollen. Even when we try to keep our garage door closed for the most part, it still gets covered. So that's the only issue with doing something like that in the garage, but I don't know, maybe we could try to do some sort of locker system out there. But for now, this is what we're working with. it is time to unload the dishwasher because I have tons of dirty dishes, mostly cups. I can't believe how many cups we had that were dirty, but I'm going to go ahead and unload the dishes since they are clean and then reload the dishwasher and then wash a few of our dishes by hand. As I finish loading the dishwasher, I want to hear from you guys. How are you doing? How is everything going? Tell me something good that's going on in your lives. I would love to hear like a high from the week. If you want to share a low, we would love to pray for you. Um, this community is just amazing, and I love how people respond to others in the comments, especially when you need prayers. So y'all let us know. Is there any way that we can pray for you this week? And also, if you have some exciting news or some good news, let us know that in the comments too. So I figured I would give you guys a little update and some good news from me. And I feel like anytime I share good news, it's always about my kids just because that's the stage of life I'm in and we're always celebrating their wins. So their wins are my win. <laughs> but we are excited because basketball season is officially over and baseball season has started. My son, Kaysen, is 12 years old and he plays travel ball. So we have started that and then also middle school baseball. So we just found out that he made the middle school baseball team again this year. And so we're excited for that to get started up. And we're going to have a very busy next few months because my daughter, Gracie June, she's 10 years old. She's also in all-star cheer. 
And so she has competition season right now through the second weekend in May. So we'll have several baseball teams going on, cheer competitions going on, but we'll be busy but full of fun. And I'm also excited for her because she just got a new tumbling skill and she's really excited about it. So those are kind of my good news wins and all for right now. (laughs) But I can't wait to read all of your wins and good news comments and even ways that we can pray for you down in the comments. And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared And lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better All right, I am replacing this Scrub Mommy sponge with a new one, but I also replaced my Scrub Mommy sponge holder with this one that's actually from Scrub Daddy. And I like this one a whole lot better because you just sit the sponge down into the holder. I don't have to like worry about lining up the eye holes and the mouth hole. It's just so much quicker and easier. So I got this one. It's actually a Scrub Daddy brand holder. So if you're looking for something like that, I recommend this one over the old one that I had. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us gotta say the Okay, so I know I have a lot of laundry to fold, but I also still have some laundry to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start this load here. This is my new laundry basket. If you didn't see my last few videos, I decluttered and organized in my closet and also my dresser drawers. And I showed you guys this new laundry basket that I got off of Amazon. It is massive. They do have a smaller version, which I recommend the medium version, not this large one. (laughs) Um, But I do love it because it's super easy to roll from my bedroom to the laundry room. It holds a lot. It's a little higher up too. So it actually, it doesn't hold as much as you would think because it is higher up, but it does hold a lot of laundry. So I went ahead and got that load started. And then we also have a bunch of boxes from packages and things, of course, Amazon, and then also some new baseball pants. So we're just putting all of this stuff away here in the dining room. Next, we went to Sam's Club and got tons of groceries. So let me give you a quick grocery haul. 
just got back from Sam's. I went ahead and put all the freezer stuff away, so I'll show you guys what I got that's in the freezer in just a second. But really quick, we've got toilet paper, paper towels. I got a couple of these Santa Fe chicken salads. There's two in a pack. We've got some chips for snacks for school. Um, we got a couple of different types of chips to try ultimate cheddar doritos i have not tried these let me know if you have and if you like them or not they look good so we got those and then these original guacamole chips we got a couple of packs of bread nutella this is also for school snacks these fig bars chance likes to have these in the mornings so there's a couple different flavors there's blueberry and raspberry in this pack there's 32 bars or 32 twin packs um, we got some ranch we go through this like crazy some heavy-duty um, foil aluminum foil we've got a three pack of Prego pasta sauce M&Ms I got peanut M&Ms and I got regular I got the peanut M&Ms for me I don't know what it's what it is but I have been loving some peanut M&Ms lately and then I always put these in like trail mixes for the kids snacks too. I also got this little pub mix. I think I went in there hungry <laughs> because this looked really good and I was thinking it would be nice to have something like this for me to snack on. So I got that. I probably am the only one in the house that'll eat this. So <laughs> this is a pretty big thing of pub mix. So hopefully it's good and I can get through it all. We've got jasmine rice. We cook rice all the time with our meals. So definitely a good price on those we got cheese it a big thing of goldfish and then we've got two huge things of boiled peanuts it's baseball season so we are ready to start doing some boiled peanuts and these are really good all right so now i'm gonna take you outside and show you all the freezer stuff that i got and we use this huge rolling tote it is breaking but it's one of chances work totes and it rolls it's awesome for bringing in all the stuff from Sam's. But let me show you what we got for the freezer really quick. So first off, we got these pizza bagel bites. We love these on the weekends for like lunch, quick lunches. We got a three pack of the Red Baron pepperoni pizzas. These are our favorite pizzas to cook in the oven. We got a three pack of bacon. I think there's only three pack. Um... The Smithfield hometown, hometown original bacon. We also got some Grand's buttermilk biscuits. We got a thing of chicken cordon blues. We love these for a quick and easy dinner, especially if like I decide randomly that I'm not cooking whatever I planned for. <laughs> That's an easy go-to. Um, and then I got a huge thing of chicken nuggets because we were almost out so went ahead and got a big thing of those so that's all the freezer stuff that I got but then we also got a big case of Red Bull we have a 24 pack this is the best price where th to get Red Bull is at Sam's so that is all we got from Sam's today all right so today's decluttering project is this cabinet right here so we kind of use this as like a second pantry 
We have all kinds of stuff in here from like pancake mix. These should probably be over with the soups. Um, all purpose flour, sugar, all that stuff, pasta, just all kinds of different things. So I'm gonna pull all this stuff out because I have not gone through this cabinet in a very long time and I'm sure I'm sure I've got some stuff that's expired in here. So I'm gonna pull everything out and reorganize this a little bit better before I put away all of our Sam's Club stuff because some of that stuff might be going in here and we just don't have any room right now. <laughs> So if you have not seen my previous videos, I have been on a decluttering kick, you guys. I have been trying to go through all the spaces in my house and declutter and organize. I've gotten through several different spaces, so be sure to check out my decluttering playlist down in the description box if you want some more decluttering motivation. And I have lots more spaces to do around my house, so I will be making these videos for a while, um, just a little bit at a time, just because that's kind of how I roll. I can't do my whole house in a week. It just takes me a while, and it takes me you know, a good bit of time to do these projects, so I like to do a little bit at a time. But today, this cabinet, it was just driving me nuts. And it's so funny because every single time I do a decluttering project, I always find something that I have been looking for forever and didn't know where I put it. And today I had found these little, um, well, those were actually s'more sticks. We had been looking for those when we were doing s'mores one night. Couldn't find them. They were in the back of this cabinet. Another thing were the bag holders to do like the freezer meal prep. I did not know where I put those things and they happened to be in the back of this cabinet. So I found a few things that I'd been looking for and now I know where they're at. But also when I went through this cabinet, I found out that we had a lot of sauces and things that were expired and needed to be thrown away. And so I just feel like this cabinet was not working for us. There was a lot of stuff that I just never pulled out, never knew what we had in here. So I'm gonna reorganize it so that it makes a little bit more sense. And also so that any of the sauces and you know jarred containers, I can pull out in one basket easily. So that way I can look through them and when I go to meal prep for the week or plan, meal plan, not meal plan, prep but meal plan for the week then it'll be easy to look through all of that stuff see what we have on hand and also if we have any extra condiments so like extra um, I know we always try to keep extra pickle relish things like that then I can look in there really quick when we run out of something and know that it's there and pull it out where before it was just like all just pushed back in there and I'd have to pull out one jar at a time in order to look through everything if they're all in one basket, they all come out at once and it's just easy to see if that makes sense.
Now, at first I put all these jars in this bigger basket, but then I realized that I really wanted to get rid of this bread box. It was just not working for us. It was too hard to pull in and out and take the top off. And I wanted to be able to see all the bread that we have. So I used this longer, skinnier container for the jars. And then now I'm gonna use this bigger container for all of our bread and tortillas. And this works so much better. Now we're at the fun part, figuring out where we want to put everything. So this took a little bit of time. I did put some things on the shelves and then kind of rearrange some things just because it made more sense to put some things in other places. But I love the way it ended up turning out. So I'll just kind of let you guys watch this. Um, all of these little containers here on the left, the all-purpose flour, the self-rising flour, sugar, all that kind of stuff. I am not big on like cooking from scratch. If you've watched my recipes, you see that I like easy, minimal ingredients, all of that. So all of these things, I don't pull out a ton. The flour I use a lot, but the sugar and salt, the salt is basically just to refill the other containers. So all that stuff, it's okay if I have them back there because I don't pull them out as often. Now the same thing with like vinegar and the olive oil, I put those in the back because those are just for refilling the containers. Extra Prego sauce is there, extra ranch. And then I put all of my rice together, all of the pasta together. Now on this top shelf, we have bread and then all of the breakfast stuff. So pancakes and grits are right there together as well. And then these are all of our extras for bags and like Ziplocs, aluminum foil, stuff like that, because I do have an organizer, which you'll see in just a second. I'm gonna um, refill our organizer in the drawer for all of our Ziploc bags. All right, so here's an overview of the finished cabinet. I feel like it works so much better. All the things that I need to pull out at once are in baskets and everything else is pretty much just refillable stuff. And if it's not, then I have it um, towards the front, so like the baking soda towards the front, so it's easily accessible. All right, so now I'm gonna put away all of our the rest of our Sam's goodies that we got, mostly snacks. So I'm refilling containers. I'm gonna refill our snack basket and just put everything away. And then if there's any extras that we have, so of course we have extra bags of Cheez-Its, extra bags of goldfish, those go on the floor of our pantry so that when we're ready to refill them, we have them right there. I have all the Sam's Club goodies put away, so now I'm gonna refill our snack bag container. So we have the sandwich size Ziploc bags that needed to be restocked. So I got this little organizer off of Amazon last year and I love it. It just makes it super easy to like look at what you need and grab it really quick. 
And then I'm also going to go ahead and put some toilet paper in the bathrooms, just kind of restock those drawers as well. You got me dancing in a storm, burning everything we know, dressing up as firefighters. You got me dancing in your store, or I'm looking like a breeze, but really you're a forest fire. You got me feeling uncomplicated. Whatever happens is meant for us. Crushing into all the situations. Whatever happened, we came there first. Go a little wild is your personal expression. Far over the line, tell me we ain't something special. to tackle some laundry so I'm gonna go ahead and fold all of these clothes um, like I said there's three baskets one of these is like a normal size load and then I've got a small load and then a larger load of clothes to fold now anytime I'm folding laundry I am either listening to an audible book or I am watching TV and on this day I was actually watching um, I think The Bachelor I have not watched The Bachelor or The Bachelorette in a while, and so for some reason, I just got into this season of The Bachelor. I was listening to someone talk about it, and so it made me want to watch it, so I'm catching up. I'm not all the way caught up yet, so don't spoil anything for me, <laughs> but let me know if you watch The Bachelor too, or if there's any good shows that you're watching. For some reason, I've had a hard time getting into any Netflix shows recently, um, so I've been watching a lot of reality TV. I still love the challenge and I watch that every single week and then now The Bachelor and honestly I watched The Real Housewives of Orange County. <laughs> I don't know why I even watched that. It's so full of drama and there's really not anything good that goes on. I think I just like seeing all the things that they do and all the trips that they take. I don't know. I don't know why I watched it but it was just kind of like something that I didn't have to pay a whole lot of attention to and it could be on the back in the background while I was folding laundry so I did watch some episodes of that but anyways I got all of our laundry folded I put it all away and everything was checked off of my to-do list for today and honestly that does not happen very often a lot of times I will make a list and it takes me two or three days to get it all checked off so I did feel very productive today but I want to be real with you guys and let you guys know that that does not always happen. Being a mom, things come up, or you just get burned out and you just can't get it all done, and it's okay. But I hope you guys get tons of motivation from this video and get some things checked off of your to-do list as well. If you're still here, leave me a sunshine emoji down in the comments to let me know that you made it all the way through the video and you're still hanging out with me all the way to the end. I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I will see you in next week's video. I've got lots more decluttering and organizing to do. See you next Sunday. Bye. Hey y'all, I hope you're ready for some serious cleaning motivation today. In this video, we are continuing along with our decluttering and organizing series where I'm getting the entire house decluttered and organized and today's focus is gonna be on my daughter's closet and dresser drawers. I also have lots of cleaning in today's video as well, so go ahead and get your to-do list ready and let's get some stuff done together. Good morning friends and welcome back to another video where I am taking you along as I clean and declutter and organize and get all the things done around my house. Now I know that these tasks may be mundane and redundant and you feel like 
you're on a hamster wheel where you're constantly just doing the same things over and over. You're cleaning your house just for it to get messed up again and then start the whole process of cleaning over. So if you're feeling unmotivated today, then I really hope that this video will encourage you and motivate you to get some of those not so fun tasks knocked off of your to list today as well. I am starting today with a load of laundry and on this day I needed to do all the bedding in our house so I am starting with my room and just getting all the sheets and everything pulled off of my bed so I can get them going in the washing machine. <laughs> Now I'm just going to vacuum my headboard and my mattress and I got this little handheld vacuum. It is corded so you do have to plug it in but I got it off of Amazon a few months ago and I've been loving it. I always use it to vacuum my mattress and then I do at least once a month I'll vacuum each of our mattresses. So I don't do this every single time I wash our sheets but I do this at least once a month. So today I just focused on my mattress and it does have a little UV light on it as well. So you can't really see it while I'm using it but on the bottom there is a UV light so it kills any dust mites and things like that that are on your bed too which I really love. But I'm gonna show you the little canister when I'm done. It was completely empty before I started and I'm always shocked at how much dust and fuzzies pull up when I am vacuuming my mattress. It's just kind of crazy. I'm headed upstairs and I'm gonna take the sheets off of both of the kids beds and I'm actually gonna wash their sheets together I'm not gonna wash their comforters today it's just gonna be their sheets and pillowcases let me show you my daughter's closet it looks like a tornado has gone off in here it is a huge disaster and we are about to tackle this a little bit at a time and by the end of this video it's going to be all nice and organized decluttered and it's just going to look a whole lot better so stick around so that way you can see the whole process First thing I'm doing is starting with the floor because obviously you can't even walk in here and I'm gonna pull all this stuff out. She actually had some stuff in here that needed to be in the playroom and then there were a bunch of blankets that were folded up that had been folded up in this closet but I'm gonna actually take those to the playroom too and we have these beanbag chairs that unzip and you can actually stuff stuffed animals and blankets in there. So all the extra blankets I'm gonna take into the playroom and put them in those bean bags just because it's just an easy way to store them without taking up any room here in her closet. And then she also had a bag of American Girl stuff from when we went down to Orlando. We actually went to the American Girl doll store for the first time ever and my daughter is 10 years old 
and she's only had had the next generation dolls from Target, which we love them. She has always loved them. We've gotten most of like the doll clothes and accessories and all that stuff from Target or Walmart. And it's been perfectly fine. But we went and did an American Girl doll lunch down in Orlando when we were there for a cheer competition. And she got to walk through the store and everything. And so she picked out a few things. They were all on sale. I was so proud of her because she spent her own money. And she picked out a few different things for her dolls. So that's why you saw that American Girl doll bag. And she was actually wanting to get an American Girl doll, but she didn't have enough money. But recently, she actually got a new tumbling skill in cheer. And so anytime they get a brand new skill, I will reward them with some money. And so once I gave her that little bit of money, she was actually able to buy her American Girl doll. So she got that in and she has been obsessed. They are they are pretty different than the next generation dolls. They are a lot more flexible. So she loves to pretend that they're cheerleaders and do all the moves with them. So it's been a lot of fun watching her play with her doll. And honestly, I will take it as long as I can get it because I know that, you know, pretty soon she's not going to want to play with dolls anymore. And this whole stage is going to be over and I'm going to be so sad. Okay, so now that I've got the floor cleared off, I'm going to go through each bookshelf and kind of organize one bookshelf at a time. And so on this bottom bookshelf, she has a bunch of different crafts. She's got some bracelet kits and art kits and things like that. So I'm keeping all of that on the bottom. Now on this next shelf, we've got lots of makeup and it's a lot of the play makeup, but it was starting to just get everywhere. So I did end up getting rid of a lot of the makeup because she just had so much of it. And I only kept the good stuff. And then I also have this little caboodle here for her, which has a few makeup items in there, some nail stuff, and just some other girly things. But on the shelf, we'll keep the makeup. And then I also have a basket where I'm going to put all of her scrunchies and clips in that basket. Under my tattoos, it's a remedy, a remedy, a remedy. And the way you go, baby, don't you know? There's a remedy, a remedy, a remedy. Yeah, yeah. There's a remedy, a remedy. Yeah. Oh no. Darling, I'm gonna lose ya. Ain't gonna lose ya. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Darling, I'm gonna lose ya. Ain't gonna lose ya. next shelf this is just chaos I feel like these little baskets are easy to just throw things in because you can't see what's in them <laughs> so they just become a mess because anytime I want to throw something in the closet or even if I tell her to clean up her room she'll throw things in these baskets so a lot of the stuff I'm getting rid of um, she does have a few pair of Disney ears that we're going to keep and a few other like dress up items in case they ever have dress up stuff at school and then in the other basket she has a lot of her cheer medals I did buy her a little sign to put on her wall that we can hang her medals from but I still haven't put it up because I don't know where I want to put it and I'm kind of thinking we might be changing up some things in her room sometime this year she'll be going into middle school um in August so we might do a little bit of a tween room update um sometime this year so I definitely need to put up that little sign and it'll go up eventually for her to hang all of her cheer medals from, but just not today. <laughs> Here on this top shelf, we have all of her books. We also have some in the playroom, but these are the ones that we keep in her room. And then I was going to put her headbands back up on the shelf, but then I decided to switch it with the basket with all of the scrunchies and hair clips and then put the headbands down here with the caboodle. I just thought it looked better. 
never could it bite But somehow you make me change Like I'm better Here on the top shelf, I have a couple of big jackets that I just didn't have room to hang them up, but we're gonna fix that in just a minute. I also keep her cheer book bag and then the two baskets up there, they have clothes in them that are hand-me-downs or clothes that I've purchased for her, but they're actually too big for her. So I just have them in that basket until she can wear them. Okay, so I decided that we needed a little bit more room in here to hang up some of her clothes. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and take out this organizer that we've been using for like the last four or five years now. I actually had one of these organizers in both of the kids' closets and I always use them to organize the kids' school clothes for the week. And they were so great for all the years that we used them, especially as they were younger because it just helped the mornings go a lot more smoothly. But now my kids are a lot older, 10 and 12, and they also wear uniforms to school. So picking out their clothes for the week is very, very easy now compared to before when they didn't have to wear uniforms. So I decided to just go ahead and take the organizers out of their closets so that way they'd have a lot more room to hang up some of their clothes. And I'll be taking the organizer out of my son's closet next week. So you'll get to see me organize his closet next week if you come back next Sunday. But Gracie June had a lot of sweaters here in this drawer and I decided I really wanted to hang them up instead of have them stuffed in these drawers. And honestly, I bought her several sweaters this year that I don't feel like she even wore more than once and that was because they were in these drawers and we would forget about them. So now I'm gonna hang them all up so we can see them and honestly, they're, they're a little oversized anyways so she should be able to wear these again next year. But now they're hanging and we can see them and hopefully she'll wear them more often. Okay, now we're moving on to these top baskets. I actually have so much dress up stuff in these baskets and I'm not sure how much longer Gracie June will have dress up days at school, but I do know that they do dress up days during like Christmas time and then one other time during the school year they'll have a week of dress up days. So I like to have the stuff in here just to have something to pull from if you know there's anything that would go with those themes. And every now and then she'll pull these down and her and her friends will, you know, come up with some silly skit or something. I remember doing that when I was little. Y'all have to let me know if you remember doing the same thing, like dressing up and putting on a show for your parents and all of that. So she still loves to do that kind of stuff. So I'm going to keep all of that for now in those little baskets at the top of her closet. Okay, it's actually a little bit later. I took a little lunch break and now all the bedding is done. So really quickly, I'm going to make all of our beds. And then I'm gonna continue with decluttering and organizing my daughter's dresser drawers on the next day. So let's get these beds made. And in case you're curious, both of my kids' sheet sets are actually from Amazon. And then both of their comforter sets are from Pottery Barn Kids. And I do have links to everything from my house to cleaning products to favorite clothes, all of that kind of stuff linked on my LTK shop and also my Amazon storefront. So if you're ever curious about something, you see something that you like, feel free to either ask me in the comments and I can send you the link or go check out the links in my description box and you can kind of browse through my LTK stuff, my Amazon favorites, all of that. So those links are there in case you need it. Oh, 
All right, it is a new day and I only got half of what I wanted to get done in the kids' rooms yesterday. So we're back in here in Gracie June's room and I'm about to go through all of her clothes because she has a ton, her drawers barely close, and I need to get rid of some stuff. So let's do some decluttering. Okay, so this is my daughter's dresser and these drawers are packed full with clothes. So we're gonna be going through each drawer at a time and I'm gonna look at every single thing. I'm gonna pull everything out of every single drawer. And I'm gonna do one drawer at a time though. And then I'm gonna decide whether we're gonna keep it, toss it, or donate it. So we are starting with the first drawer and this is kind of her cheer slash tumbling drawer. We keep all of her little cheer outfits and sports bras and tumbling clothes in this drawer. So I'm just going through everything and um, kind of organizing it together and there were a few things that I ended up getting rid of. Okay, these next two drawers are Gracie June's shirt drawers. So she's got t-shirts and tank tops in this top drawer. And then in the bottom drawer, she has all of her cute shirts. So shirts that she would wear with like a cute outfit to church or um, to dinner or something like that, not just everyday loungewear. And while I'm doing this, I wanted to show you guys what I'm listening to on Audible I actually finished this book, but while I was doing her drawers, I was listening to this book, and I love listening to books on Audible whenever I'm cleaning or walking or even when I'm in the car by myself. I just love listening to books. So this is my most recent one, and it's called Just My Luck, and it's about a family that wins the lottery, and because of the lottery win, all this stuff goes horribly wrong, and it was so good. It's like a, it's a thriller suspense book. Those are pretty much my favorite types of books to listen to or read. And so this one, I actually gave five stars. I always leave my Audible reviews over on my Instagram stories. I have a highlight reel of all of the books that I listen to. I pretty much remember to do them on Instagram all the time, but for some reason, I forget to go and update my Goodreads account, but I do have a Goodreads account. I just am not that great about remembering to update it. But this book called Just My Luck is so good. I gave it five stars and I have not given a book five stars in so long. So if you're into thriller suspense, I definitely recommend this one. I was in it from the very beginning of the book. It was so good all the way through. There were a few things that I kind of guessed, but then there were definitely some twists that I didn't see coming. So definitely recommend this book. But anyways, so I'm continuing to do her shirts. I went through and organized the ones that we're going to keep. And my daughter is such a t-shirt girl. Like she will come home and immediately get into a pair of butterfly shorts and a t-shirt. And anywhere we go, that's what she wants to wear. <laughs> 
Um, but every now and then she'll want to dress up in like some cute little outfit. So we definitely have some options for that too. So that's what we're going to do with this bottom drawer. Oh, and we also, in this bottom drawer, I have some rompers and some other cute like skirt sets that I got from Shein for her. And so those go in this drawer as well. But you're making me nervous. No, I've realized that I can't live without you. Moving on to the next drawer, we're doing socks and underwear. Same thing here, I'm just going to get rid of the ones that she no longer uses and then just reorganize them here in this drawer. Now this next drawer, we have bathing suits and cover-ups. So I actually had to get rid of quite a few bathing suits that are too small on her. Um, but a few of them I did end up keeping just because I need her to try them on. So I'll have her try them on soon. But I always get the kids new bathing suits for their Easter baskets. So I'm definitely going to be looking for some cute ones. Target always has really cute bathing suits. But Walmart the last few years has had some great bathing suits too. And actually, that reminds me, I bought Gracie June a couple of bathing suits last year from Walmart that were so stinging cute, but they were too big on her. So I need to pull those out too. They were actually in those pink baskets in her closet. So I need to pull those out to see if they fit her, but I'm definitely going to be looking for some cute bathing suits. So um, let me know if you've found any good ones. I also need to get Case in a couple of new bathing suits too, because I ended up getting rid of some of his because they were most of his bathing suits were too small. <laughs> okay, we're on to another drawer, and this is the shorts drawer. So I keep all of her athletic shorts, her jean shorts. I even have a few skirts in here. And you'll see I do have a few pairs of shorts that still have the tags on them, and that's because I bought them for her last year, and they were too big. So um, I actually had her try on those same shorts the other day, and they're still too big on her in the waist. She's gotten so much taller but all of her jean shorts from last year still fit her. It's just they look super short on her because her legs have gotten so long, but they're, the other shorts are way too big in the waist. So 
I'm just going to keep them in here because she doesn't have very many pairs of jean shorts and they fit in this drawer. Um, but I might have to get her some new shorts soon, some new jean shorts that actually are a little bit longer but fit her in the waist as well. Okay, last drawer. Hallelujah. This is the pajama drawer. And I'm just going to go through. I know that there's tons of stuff in here that she no longer wears. So I'm going to get rid of some stuff and then reorganize the stuff that we're keeping. To do but to say goodbye and try to move on. I'll get over you. Only wish that I knew how to go on. All right, I have finished all of the drawers. These are all the clothes that I'm getting rid of. Lots of bathing suits that are, that are too small, shirts, um, pajamas, all that kind of stuff, rompers. These are socks and undies that we're getting rid of. This, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with all of her school clothes now that I took down the organizer in the closet. And then these shirts right here are all shirts that are like, like cheer shirts or um, I don't know, keepsake type shirts. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna put them in her keepsake box just for right now. These are rompers and things that I want her to try on before I get rid of them just to make sure that they're too small. Um, she hasn't worn them in a while and her legs have gotten so long. <laughs> so I'm gonna make her try those on before I get rid of them, but I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be too short. And then these are, well, not that one. Um, these are shirts that were mine that I might put in her pajama drawer. I don't know. Or I might just keep them. I feel like these would be really cute on her, just oversized shirts. So I think I might put those in the drawers, but that's why I have these set to the side for right now. Okay, a quick look at how I organized her drawers. So this one is her cheer drawer. It's got all of her tumbling and cheer clothes in it. Then this drawer is all of her t-shirts. So we've got some long sleeve shirts in the back. She doesn't have very many long sleeve shirts. And then mostly just t-shirts, a few jerseys back here. And then these are all tank tops, but they're just like all casual that she could wear with athletic shorts. And then this drawer down here are all of her like cute outfits. Um, so these are all short sleeve shirts. Some of these you might have noticed I, has, I had tags on them still, but that's because they were too big last year, so I just took the tags off, and they're so cute. These are actually from Walmart, and they were just a little too big last year, so I'm thinking she'll be able to wear these this year. These are um, like tank tops and just cute outfit shirts, and then we've got some rompers here. This is her undies and socks drawer. We also have a couple of like little training bras and then these are shorts that she wears underneath her dresses. We've got her bathing suit drawer here. I kind of feel like she's gonna have to try on some of these bathing suits as well. I'm thinking that they might be a little too small, but some of them I know will fit her, but the other ones we'll try on before we get rid of them. And then we've got her shorts drawer here. Um, same thing with the shorts. She has a couple pairs of shorts that still have tags on them, but that's because I bought them last year and they were just too big. And I actually already tried those on her the other day, but they're still a little too big, so I didn't take the tags off yet. But this is just her shorts drawer. And then her pajama drawer down here. Feels so good to have it all organized. All right, so we're moving back into the closet to declutter in here. Um, I don't really have anything to declutter up here. I do have a few dresses that she needs to try on and see if they're too short, but the rest of the stuff actually fits. So I'm not gonna worry about this for right now, but 
I do want to go through these drawers. So this top drawer is like all of her bows. And then she does have a few hats in here. And then this drawer, we've got some skirts, which I'm thinking about possibly moving these over to the shorts drawer in the other uh, dresser. And then we've got some pullovers that are probably too small. I need to go through some sweaters and then her shoes. So we're going to go through this really quick and I'm going to hopefully have a drawer where I can put all of her school clothes in. Okay, so I'm pulling everything out of these top two drawers because it's kind of gotten a little chaotic in there and I can't even see everything. So I did decide to get rid of a few things that I think are going to be too small for her. And then there are a few sweaters that I decided to keep in here because if I have them, you know, stacked like this, we can actually see what's in the drawer a little bit better um, instead of just hanging them up. So these will keep in the drawers. She's probably not going to wear them until next winter anyways because it's already starting to get warm here and then this other drawer I'm going to use for all of her school clothes and then all the other items that I pulled out of those drawers I'm going to actually hang these up there's a few pullovers a vest cardigans and so these are things that I think she'll be reaching for a little bit more so we're going to hang these up but nothing could break us but oh how we got burned look at us now we scream we fight and no one knows the reason all right so this is the pile that we ended up with and i'm just gonna stuff everything in this bag for now and then me and my friend are gonna go through them she can decide what she wants to keep and what she wants to get rid of and then so we'll just donate whatever she doesn't want um and then of course the socks and underwear i'm just gonna toss these so now that all of that is done i'm going to finish cleaning up here in her bedroom I decided I was not gonna have enough time to do my son's room this day. So I am gonna actually just do it the next day and I will share it with you in next week's video. So I'll be doing all of his closet organizing in there and I might have some other fun surprises in next week's video as well. We're both getting out of line. Mm -hmm. Now say goodbye and try to move on. I'll get over you only that I knew how to go on guys we are getting very close to the end of this video but I wanted to take a second just to tell you guys how much you mean to me and how grateful I am that you show up for my videos every single week or maybe you don't necessarily show up every single week but every now and then for you to just take time out of your busy schedules and hang out with me and show me love and support and even chat with me in the comments and tell me what's going on in your your lives some of your great news, ways that I can pray for you, things that, you know, maybe are weighing heavy on you and you just need prayers for, for you to take the time out of your day and just be part of this community means the world to me. And I'm just so, so grateful for you. And I don't think I tell you guys nearly enough, but I love y'all so, so much. And I just can't believe that you guys would even want to come hang out with me. <laughs> But I really hope that today's video brought you a little bit of encouragement and motivation. I know that life can be crazy busy. It can also be hard and sometimes we can feel alone in things, but just know that you are loved and you are valued and I'm here to pray for you whenever you need it. So please just let me know if you ever need prayers down in the comments and I know that lots of people in this community will get on and pray for each other as well. So please just let us know how we can pray for you today. And y'all don't forget to come back next Sunday so we can get some more cleaning and decluttering done together. Easter's coming up, so I've got a few things to share for that and some other fun stuff planned. Um, also, if you have not seen my other decluttering videos, then be sure to go check out that playlist. I have a playlist down in the description box where you can see all of the decluttering and organizing projects that I've done so far this year. I hope you guys have the best week ever, and I will see you next week. Bye!
Hey y'all, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing lots of cleaning per usual, but I've also got some decluttering. I'm still decluttering my entire house, so today we're working on my son's closet. And I'm also gonna be making some fun DIY teacher gifts for Teacher's Appreciation Week. So come on, hang out with me today. Make your to-do list either while you're watching or before you watch, and let's get some things done together. Good morning, sweet friends, and welcome to a new video here on my channel. I'm so glad that you're here to hang out with me today. I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling so good about this spring weather. I don't know where you guys live. Y'all have to let me know if you're getting a little bit of spring weather where you are. All week, it has been so nice. Well, it did rain a few days, but other than that, it's been super nice, sunny, high of like 75 and I am all about it. But how are you guys? How are y'all doing? Let me know in the comments. What are you doing while you're watching? Any fun news, exciting things that we can celebrate with you? Any ways that we can pray with you? Let us know in the comments. All right, so I've got my bed made for the day and now I'm gonna go and tidy the rest of the downstairs. But I have been on a decluttering kick for since right before the new year. And so I've been making tons of decluttering and organizing videos. I've been going through lots of different spaces in my house and getting rid of some things, donating some things, and then just reorganizing those spaces. And it feels so, so good. So if you've missed any of those decluttering videos, I do have a whole playlist. So I'll leave that down in the description box so that way you can go find that playlist and watch any of the, vi the videos or you can just go to my YouTube channel and then search the playlist. It should be one of the first ones at the top. It's just the decluttering playlist. So in last week's video, I decluttered and organized my daughter's closet and it took way longer than I thought it was going to. I thought I'd be able to fit both of their closets into one video, but my daughter's closet was a disaster. <laughs> so definitely go check out that video. But today we're gonna be decluttering and organizing in my son's closet. His wasn't nearly as bad, but I still got rid of a lot of stuff and reorganized and it works so much better. So be sure to stick around for that. I have these drawers in their closets that you guys are gonna absolutely love. They're from the container store. I think I accidentally said in another video that they were from Ikea, but they're not. They're from the container store. And he has the taller drawers. And then in my closet, in my daughter's room, we have the shorter ones. But they are amazing and fit so much stuff. So definitely stick around for that decluttering part of the video so you can see how we organize in the closets. Before 
Okay, so I saw this post on Instagram and I actually shared it in my Instagram stories, but it's from Erin underscore BSN2. It was on her account and I saw that it was reshared from another friend of mine and I just wanted to read it to you guys today. It says, you may think that you are completely insignificant in this world, but someone drinks coffee from their favorite coffee cup that you gave them. Someone heard a song on the radio that reminded them of you. Someone read the book that you recommended and plunged headfirst into it. Someone smiled after a hard day's work because they remembered the joke that you told them today. Someone loves themselves a little bit more because you gave them a compliment. Never think that you have no influence whatsoever. Your trace, which you leave behind with every good deed, cannot be erased. Holy moly, I just thought that was such a great quote and it really hit hard. We had some things happen in our community this week that we have been super sad about and when I saw this quote being shared I was like oh that is just what I needed today. We have actually been having conversations in our family this week about how words matter and actions matter and how you know we never know what someone is going through and Even if someone is ugly to you, then to always be kind to them because you never know why they're acting that way, what they're going through at home, or what's on their heart. And so we can always, we can't control other people's actions, but we can always control our own actions. And we might be the only person that smiles at that person today. But not just the people that are not nice to you, but also the people that look like they have it all together and put on a smile and have a happy face and always seem like, you know, everything's going right for them. We need to be kind to those people too because we don't know what is going on, you know, in their personal lives. And I don't know, it's just been such a hard week. And this is just a reminder that, If you feel alone or if you feel like, you know, nobody cares, just know that somebody out there is thinking about you, Um, but also go out of your way and try to put a smile on someone else's face today. So here I am in my son's room and you can see we have lots of clothes. We actually had a bag full of clothes that were already ready for donations. Um, So I'm going to take that out, but I'm going to add to that bag in just a little bit when I go through all the drawers. We're going to clean up his closet. I'm actually going to take the hanging organizer out of his closet. I have these and I've had them for years for both the kids' closets and they were great when my kids were in public school because they wore whatever clothes they wanted to to school. But now that they wear uniforms, I feel like it would just be easier to keep their uniforms in a drawer and you know, they're wearing basically the same thing every day. So it's not really hard to pick out their clothes each day. 
Um, so I'm going to have a little bit more space up here to have more hangups for him now that he's gotten so much bigger. Some of these things just work better hung up. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though. Want to hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Okay, now we're gonna start going through all of the drawers and these were the drawers that I was telling you about earlier that we love so much that are from the container store. They fit a ton of stuff in here. So I'm gonna go through each drawer one at a time and get rid of things that are too small. So we will either donate or toss anything that's like torn or you know, I wouldn't wanna hand down to anybody. We've got a few drawers down and still a bunch to go. Now for this drawer, I decided to take all of the shirts out so that way I could kind of organize them as I fold them up. So I'm looking at the size of each one of them and also what type of shirt it is because some of the baseball shirts go in a separate drawer. But while I am organizing these drawers, I thought I would tell you guys some good news, which is that we have spring break coming up next week and we are gonna be going to Florida for a few days. We're gonna actually go to a brave spring training game, which we are so excited about. If you know our family, we are huge Atlanta Braves fans. We love baseball. And so us and another family, we're gonna head down there for spring break, just a few days during our spring break. And we're gonna do the beach while we're there. Um, it'll, it should be really nice weather down there. So we're excited. We're going to find some other things to do. So if you have any suggestions, if you've been to a Braves spring training game, we've never been to the stadium there before. So, um, let us know if you have any suggestions. Also, it's close to Bradenton, Florida, which is where we're going to actually stay while we're there. I think that's about an hour, maybe 45 minutes to an hour from the stadium, so if you know anything about Bradenton, let us know that too. I think we do have reservations on Friday night at a fun little place to eat. But other than that, we don't really have many plans. So let us know if you have any suggestions. 
Also, we do have Easter coming up. So I ordered a few things for the kids' Easter baskets off of Amazon. And I love sharing these ideas with you guys. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it into a video early enough for y'all. I will definitely share some stuff in a video. But if you are looking for Amazon Easter basket ideas, my kids are 10. I have a 10-year-old daughter and a 12-year-old son. And so I have a lot of fun things saved on Amazon if you need ideas. So I'll make sure to link my Amazon storefront down below. And then you can just search in that storefront. I have a couple different folders. I have Easter ideas for boys and Easter ideas for girls. But also if you follow me over on Instagram, I'll definitely be sharing our Easter baskets that I got for the kids over there. It'll probably be a little bit sooner than I'll be able to share it here on YouTube. So if you want to see that over there, I share lots of other content over on Instagram, TikTok. Um, it's just amy.darling. You can go follow me over there. I look in the mirror Who's looking back at me I don't know what happened Guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them But we got tired There's nothing left to do But to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on Baby, you and me were so messed up together Okay, so here is the pile of clothes that we are getting rid of, but I realized I didn't even show y'all the entire pile because I got rid of lots of hangups too, and I forgot to show y'all the entire bag of stuff that we're getting rid of, but it was a lot, and the drawers are a lot better. They're a lot more organized, and um, now I'm going to go through all of his hats. I have these two hat hangers that are from Amazon. It came in a pack of two, super cheap. I want to say it was like 10 12 dollars something like that and I have these for both my son and my husband and we love having this little organizer but you can see my son has a ton of hats so I'm going through and reorganizing them trying to put the hats that like the Georgia hats together the Braves hats together the bananas hats together his baseball team hats together so that way they're a little bit more organized. And then there are a few that I decided to take off because he doesn't wear them that often. And I'm just going to put these in his closet. Now, after I did this, I realized I had all of my son's school clothes still on his bed. And I meant to make a drawer that was specifically just for his uniforms. So I'm going to put these hunting clothes in here with his baseball shirts and kind of move that around because he doesn't have very much hunting stuff. And then this bottom drawer we're going to use for all of his school uniform clothes and spirit shirts for school. Back when I met you, we were like fireworks. Thought nothing could break us, but oh how we got burned. Look at us now, we scream, we fight, and no one knows the reason. We're both getting out of line. Mm -mm. Now say goodbye and try to move on. I'll get over you, only wish that I knew how to go on. So now the whole closet is reorganized, decluttered, and I'm just going to vacuum in here really quick because the floor is never this empty. So I can definitely vacuum in here and then I'll vacuum the rest of his um, room in just a second too. But also we have Teachers Appreciation Week coming up. So I figured I would show you guys the Teachers Appreciation gifts that I'm making for my kids' teachers. Actually, I only did Teacher Appreciation gifts for... Gracie June's teachers. She has four teachers 
And then Kaysen actually has seven teachers, but for them, we did, they did like a stock the break room type thing. So we signed up to send in stuff for that. And then they also did some fun lunches for the teachers, for the middle school teachers with the PTF staff. So if you need some teacher's appreciation gift ideas, then stay tuned. I'm going to show you what we did for our teachers. They turned out so cute. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is creating teacher tags. So these are gonna be the little tags. I actually got them clipboards that I'm gonna put their names on. But before we do the clipboards, I went ahead and printed out these teacher tags and cut them with my Cricut. I actually found this image in Cricut Design Space and then I just turned it into a print and cut. So you can see I put it on cardstock and then I'm gonna cut it with my Cricut. I'm actually gonna use my Joy Extra. Um, I got this a few months ago and I've done a few different Cricut videos sharing the Joy Extra. I absolutely love this machine. And here are the clipboards that I got off of Amazon. It came in a four pack of different colors and there were a few different options too. So I'll be sure to link these. But now I'm just putting my cardstock onto my cutting mat and then I'm gonna cut it with my Joy Extra. I seriously love my Cricut machines. I know that they sponsor me every now and then, but I have had Cricut mach machines since way before I ever even thought about starting a YouTube channel. I actually had a Cricut machine before I ever had my first baby. <laughs> and that he is 12 years old so I had the very first Cricut I remember you had to use like these little sets they were called cartridges and you had to buy the sets separately that would have images on them or fonts or whatever you couldn't just go into design space and design your own thing and print it out or cut it you had to literally buy all these different cartridges separate so Cricut has come a very long way since I had the very first machine. And I absolutely love my machines. I have made so many different projects over the years. And I just love it for things like this where I can make fun, cute, personalized gifts for the teachers and my friends, my kids. I just love being able to DIY this stuff. Now, if you're not a DIYer though, and you would prefer to buy this stuff from someone, there are tons of people that do these things on Etsy. So if you're watching and you have an Etsy shop and you do customizable gifts or things that you think would be fun for teachers, let us know. I don't know if you can leave a link. I don't know if Google will let you leave the link, but you can definitely tell us the name of your shop and let us know what kind of gifts you make for teachers because I feel like there are lots of people here that don't want to DIY it, and that's totally fine too. They would rather, you know, personalize something and buy it off of Etsy. Okay, so now we're moving to putting the names on the teacher's clipboards, and I went ahead and designed these out, and then I realized I was going to do two layers of vinyl, and I was out of white vinyl. So I had to pause and go to Walmart and go buy some white vinyl. So the end of this project will actually be done the next day because I ran out of time this day and I just didn't have time to get it all done. Because of course, when my kids get home from school, we are running around to all the sports. So I found a couple of really cute fonts. I'll see if I can find the name of the fonts in case you're interested. They were free. I found them on dafont.com and downloaded them and installed them on my computer and then used them in Cricut Design Space. 
So I'll definitely try to find the name of the ones that I use, but these turned out so, so cute. And I cut them in two different colors. So for some of them, I did white and pink. And then the others I did white and like a mint green type color. Also a little tip, if you are making clipboards, I decided to put the names on the back of the clipboard because on the front, they're gonna have paper. And if they're writing on their papers or whatever it is, and they're writing over their name, then it's gonna be kind of bumpy and it's not gonna work out very well. So I ended up putting their names on the back of the clipboard and then also as they walk around with their clipboard, like if they're walking down the hallway or around the classroom, then you can easily see the design on the back of the clipboard. All right, so now that it's all done, all I have to do is cut out my vinyl and weed it out so I, that means just like taking all the middle pieces out of the r or you know the o's taking all the pieces out that i don't want and then i use transfer tape to transfer it onto from the vinyl sheet onto the clipboard Now here you can see I put the white on first and then I'm taking whatever other color I'm using. So for this one I'm using pink and I'm just gonna layer it on top and I, I made them the exact same size. And all I did was just kind of make move it over a little bit so it looks like a shadow. These all turned out so stinking cute. I love them. And to go with them, I ended up getting them a pack of pens. So they were pastel colored pens and also a gift card. So for one of the teachers, she loves home goods. For the other ones, they got Target. And then I just used some ribbon and some yarn to attach the little tag. And Gracie June did end up writing on the bottom of the tag right before she took it to school she ended up writing love gj on the bottom so that her teachers knew it was from her all right y'all so that is going to be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so so much for being here for hanging out with me if you made it to the end i want you to leave me a red heart emoji down in the comments so i know that you're still here and i can't wait to see you guys back here next sunday for a new video i'll see you guys later have a wonderful week bye to drinking that's just wasting time